Live from the Broadcast West Studios in Culver City, California, it's the fourth annual On Cinema Oscar Special, starring Tim Heidecker and Greg Turkington, with special guests Joe Estevez, D. Thompson, and of course, yours truly, Mark Prux. And now, ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the show. This is Dakar, and we are live coming at you right now. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. All right, we're going to start the show right now. Let's give a big round of applause at home and everybody in the studio for Dakar! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Tim Heidecker, and we are live. We're talking about the Oscars. It's the On Cinema Oscar special, and I'm feeling so excited to be here. This is, first of all, let's give another round of applause for GK. <laughs> we have so much, we got so much in store for you guys. It's our favorite night of the week. As I said, it's Christmas for Tinseltown. And this is such a special night. You know, I got to say a few words. Uh, we, uh, this is the first time that, you know, we've done it, done it since last year. And things ended on such a rough note with um, my personal behavior. Uh, and uh, as some of you guys know, I've spent the past few days letting you guys know that this is a dry set. And there's not going to be a lot of alcohol around here. And I'm not drinking. And we're going to put on just a positive, great show. And... Um, I'm having so much fun. I gotta tell you, I'm, I've never been healthier. I've never been stronger. I've never been happier. I've lost 40 pounds, 40 pounds since last year. I mean, honestly, it's, it's been one of those years where it's just been about transformation, regrowth, and really able to seize the day, seize the moment, and find my potential, find out who I really am. I've been searching for him my whole life, and I've found him. I've found, I've found him. Uh, but we are not here just to talk about me. We are here to talk about movies and music and the Academy Awards because this is the night. In a few short minutes, we're going to be checking in um, on the Academy Awards throughout the whole night. So stay here. Keep watching. We are going to have a blast. I'd like to welcome one of our guests. He's going to be uh, helping us with some of the expertise stuff about who's nominated and all kinds of stuff. Um, I want to bring him out right now. He's a big, uh, he's a friend of the show. He's uh, been on the show before. Let's bring him out, Greg Turkington. Let's bring him out, Greg Turkington. Thank you, Greg. Look at this. This is very cool. Take a seat. We'll get catch up with you. <clears throat> what did you think of the uh, opening Oscar fever? You didn't tell me that you were bringing Dakar to the show. Okay. Well, that's because I don't need to tell you anything. This is my show, and I'm running the show, and uh, you just should be grateful to be here. 
I'm grateful to be well, part of the I'm not grateful show. to hear that. Hear music when people are tuning in to get Oscar opinions, expertise, predictions, speculation on the winners, and then you shoehorn uh, right. your band into the show. It's it's not. I mean, you may as well change the title cards of the whole thing because it doesn't have anything to do with the Oscars. Well, I sang a, a new cover of Oscar Fever, which everybody is begging for, clamoring for. And I thought it was a nice job. Well, are let's they going to leave a, now? No. Um, why don't we get a, uh, let, let's check in with the audience. We got our, follow me, Tim Heidecker, at Tim Heidecker at Twitter. Uh, you will be able to, we don't have the poll, but we will um, ask the following question. What did you think of that, the car cover of, of uh, uh, almost said empty bottle, of Oscar Fever? Let's get uh, reactions from the audience now. We'll give you results soon on that. I bet you won't give the results when they come in, because I bet they won't be very positive. All right. Well, you're coming in with a really negative attitude. Well, no, I had a positive attitude when we were talking earlier, and we were talking about what we were going to do in the show, but you didn't tell me that these guys were here. Okay. Well, do you want to leave? No, I don't want to leave. I just want to talk movies. All right. Well, let's talk movies. First thing I want to say... Like I said earlier, we have done a lot of, I've done a lot of apologizing already for last year. I apologize for my behavior and I make that promise, that, swore, swore, uh, that sworn oath to you, my audience, that it'll never happen again. It'll never happen again. And we're going to provide quality coverage of the Oscars with our own brand of entertainment and our own unique slice of uh, the, the perspective that On Cinema provides. Now, I've done my work. And I expect you to do the same. And cheer, cheer up, because we're not gonna. I'm not gonna go through the whole night with you acting like this. Are you happy to be here? This is no, your I'm, favorite I'm, night of the year. Let's is, just get a little is. energy. Just, just pep up. Okay, I'm sorry. I just I was very excited about doing the show, yeah. and I didn't know that you were bringing Dakar. Well, you should have figured that out by now. It's my number one passion in life. I'd like to offer a chance uh, t for you, Greg, to apologize on behalf of yourself and whoever you got to work on that with. Uh, for you with the uh, with your Decker versus Dracula, uh, which was a big flop. And let's turn it over to you so we can get that official apology and we can move on. Well, all right. I'll apologize to you, Tim, for Decker versus Dracula. Um, it wasn't a flop. In fact, it had the highest ratings of any of the Decker series and the best reviews. And still the numbers have been higher on the, on the reruns than anything. But I will apologize to you. Uh, I'm really, really... Sorry that we didn't get to do all okay. 20 episodes. That's not an apology. That's because not the apology I was looking for. The, the scripts let me... were very, very solid. And with the, the excitement that we had about it, mm -hmm. um, I think it really could have moved Decker into a whole new category of right. programming up right. there with James Bond. Uh, but you, now... you, bring up James, you bring up James Bond. I want to talk about the, the fraud that you brought in here last year. Um, I don't really know. I can't, I can't tell you what his real name is. Um, you claim him to be James Dean. Uh, yeah, I've seen his birth certificate. His, his name is James Byron Dean. Okay, well, we have him here today. Um, and and I, with an open heart, with, with an open heart, I'm coming to this problem and this situation with the following uh, proposal. And we've talked about this, and you've agreed to this. We are going to perform later on the show, uh, we're going to perform a DNA test on this man, and we're going to find out for once and for all, whether or not he's James Dean or not. We will confirm we will... today that he is, in fact, so, James Byron Dean. You can you can cut away and watch, uh, you know, so-and-so, who you never heard of, some no-name, give an award to some other so-and-so, the foreign film or whatever. Or you can stick with us tonight and find out the true identity of the man who I believe is a fraud, Greg believes is James Dean. Uh, a couple other things, and, we'll, and then we'll start the show. Um, we're gonna uh, premiere world music world premiere of my new music video, Empty Bottle, is gonna be coming later tonight, and that's exciting. And I think everyone's gonna be real thrilled to hear that, see that. It's been we've been working real hard on it, and uh, the band's. Why don't excited. you have like an Emmy show? Because if, if the whole thing is about this music, that would be more appropriate. This has nothing to do with the movies nominated and the filmmakers who work so hard to make <laughs> movies. Mark Proach is going to be joining us, who's going to be really exciting. I, 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 I hate to give too much away, but the key to, uh, the key to uh, what Mark's going to be doing today lies in the name. I like that. It's kind of interesting. I almost wanted to, to convince, I don't want to give it away, but Mark's 
If Mark's had brothers, yeah. That's a good segment. Yeah. I'm excited about that. I don't, if, the question is if, if Mark said, I'm not giving anything away, I hope. I hope I'm not giving anything away there. But it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah. He's very talented, and uh, well, we'll see where it goes. Um, throughout the night, we're going to be joined by Dee Thompson. Get applause for that. Hello, movie buff. You know, D. Thompson, who is a, a big, I know, you talk, you talk a little bit he's about He's a movie D. head, and he's a movie buff, and he did something that a lot of folks never, ever have the chance to do, which is he snuck his way into the Oscars and got to be front row at the actual Oscars. He and was at the Oscars. He was at the Oscars, and he's is got that? some stories about it that will uh, blow your mind. That's fantastic. Very, very cool guest. I can't wait to talk to him. I can't wait to find out what it was like to be in the... Shrine Auditorium or wherever they go, and, or the Dolby Auditorium. And, uh, and finally, and this I haven't even told you, mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a great night, a fun night, positive night, energy's through the roof. Um, it was. But I got an, uh, sort of, I hate to say, I wanted this to be a surprise, but I feel like, let me just get this out. Because okay. then, then people are going to be like, when's it going to happen, when's it going to happen? A couple nights ago, and Axiom can attest to this, um, we're at the Rainbow Room, which is in on the Strip. It's in Hollywood. It's on the Hollywood Sunset Strip, and it's late. I and those like those guys are uh, those guys are partying hard. I'm not, but I'm there because we've just seen a couple of shows, and we're hanging out. It's got to be two in the morning. Who walks in? Yes, Bad Boy Johnny Depp walks into the Rainbow Room, really? and and he, nobody's around. It's just four of us hanging out. Manuel remembers this, and. I start, we started talking to him. Yeah. He's like, what's going on with the band? How's the music coming along and all this stuff? And he, I tell him about the Oscar special. And he says, well, I'm in town. I said, John, you're going to the Oscars, aren't you? He says, no. Should be going to the Oscars. I mean, he should have been nominated for six, eight, six, six, eight movies. Black, Black Mask was one of my favorite movies Black of the Mask, year. Black uh, Mask, Mordecai. Mordecai. And um, he, he says, I'll come by. Johnny Depp's coming He's got, here. You, you gave him the information. I on gave him the are. information. He knows where we're at. We're in Culver really? City, and he says, I'm, "I'll be out." Am I? Am I nuts? Am I making this up? Right. He's coming. He's coming. I it's, saw it. He saw <laughs> it happen. He saw it right really? in front of him. Yeah, he saw it. It's happening. Johnny Depp's ca coming sometime during the broadcast. Be, he didn't give me a time. That would make up for bringing Axiom and Dakar. See what I mean? If you could bring Johnny Depp, it's huge. So that's what we got planned. We got so much else. Planned in store. I want to shout out to uh, uh, how are we doing with the Oscars? Are the Oscars happening yet? Still going on? We still got the Oscars coming up. We'll check in with them soon. I want to th thank um, Chaplin's Subs, Chaplin's Soup and Subs. That's correct. <laughs> Chaplin's <clears throat> Chaplin's Soups. What is this? Now, now, last we had you here last year. What's your name That's again? Right. My name is Hank. Hank. Yeah. Now, last year you were you were here with Chaplin's Chili. That's right. And well, what happened there? What's going on? Well, uh, Chaplin's uh, because of the success of last year's uh, appearance okay. on here, um, we caught the attention of Levinson's Acquisitions Group and the they, what? Levinson's Acquisition. Uh, they 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 bought out. Chaplin's Chili really? for an expansion. Okay. And uh, so we've been expanding. We have four more stores this year. Um, unfortunately, we're no longer Chaplin's Chili because Tom Chaplin of uh, Chaplin's Chili, he um, wasn't happy with the ex expanded menu. So he, there's okay. still Chaplin's Chili, but right. we're Chaplin's Super I, We don't serve so chili anymore, but we still have great items. Oh. Delicious okay. food, yes. So the Chaplin's was a guy named Tom, I thought it had something to do with Charlie Chaplin, the whole Hollywood thing. Uh, it's a coincidence that that's his, his last name, but um, his name was Tom Chap. his okay. Tom Chaplin. Well, so is the Chaplin's Chili in North Hollywood, Chaplin's that's not Chili. affiliated with you, you, with you anymore? It is no longer affiliated. The, our company was born out of that, All but right. now it's Chaplin's. Thank you. But is it the that's same menu? on that. Thank is you. It, do you still have the Chili? All right. Can we... Those are still good at Chaplin's Chili. Yeah, yeah we but know do you have the same? Is that chili of, there the right, same as the Greg, Chaplin's Chili? That no, this is this is soups and subs. You know, I mean, chili tonight. No, we have something that tastes very good. If you like it, it's the three bean. Um, we got the three three bean three malarm uh, chowder, which I could I'll be serving all night. And we also have. The all right, thank you very much. I just wanted bean. to give you guys ten <clears throat> seconds to plug that. I didn't want the whole oh, the whole backstory. 
All right, it's too bad. It's not, it shouldn't have any opinion on that. All right, you shouldn't be positive or negative about their company. Thank you for the free sandwiches. I have sure, a, but they uh, helped finance where? my grand finale spectacular, so okay. I do tip my hat to them. And we talked about the grand finale. That's coming. Do, do you want to talk a little bit about the special, the, the surprise you have? Or? Yeah, you know, every year we've had sort of a finale, as, as they do on the Oscars, uh, something to just really blow people's minds and also to pay tribute, to tip a hat to uh, old Hollywood and uh, it coming together with new Hollywood. And I've been rehearsing this for two weeks with my cast, and uh, I can't, I don't want to reveal too much because I want it to be a surprise, but let me just say it is the biggest spectacular finale in on cinema Oscar special history. Well, your competition's not very strong because last year I believe we had a, the, the fraud uh, committed by James well, no. so-called Dean, and we the year before was the that is the James stupid, Dean, uh, and you'll find out tonight in about an hour when we stupid, get the result. Shut up! The stupid uh, domino crap. The uh, that was the amazing. You just shot Oscar. wrong. Yeah. If you had the right aerial shot, it spelled Oscar. They shot it from the side. It didn't. It didn't come across. All right. Well, this well, is I, this is I mean other is, world. Luke. This this shouldn't shouldn't take much to top. This is two. otherworldly. You will not believe what I've done. And we have been at SIR Studios in Hollywood, where the Rolling Stones and all your heroes rehearse. <laughs> but we've been rehearsing what we're going to put on here tonight, which I think is probably actually going to be more impressive than anything on the real Oscars. Really? Even though we have a fraction of the budget. Well, uh, all, this all, the is... more reason, all the more reason to stick with us throughout the night as we cover the Oscars like no one else can. That's the on It's a big difference. production. I'll just say that much. It's a have big, we any big results? production. We have any results on how many people love Dakar out there? Any we got any uh, feedback coming in from the uh, main office control room? I can't wait to find out. Fifty-nine percent are saying play it again. That's huge. Out of how many votes there? Nobody likes Dakar. So three hundred votes. That's a lot of votes. I mean, that's a huge number. Uh, we're I'm going to do that. my own polling because I don't no, trust don't, your polling. Nobody wants to see that. Um, well, let's speaking of polling and predictions and uh, and and uh, forecasting, I want to talk. Put your phone away. No, I'm setting no, up. We a can do poll. that at the break. All right, do that at the break. Let's talk about Greg. This is why you're here. I want to find out who do you think is going to take the big prize today. I mean, we're not going to get into the the minutia of who's going to win every single award. We all agree that there's going to be a write-in vote. Yeah. And the right in vote. Ant Man. Is, okay. Is that your pick? That's definitely my pick. It was the best film of the year. It was one of the biggest grossing films of all time. He's in the Ant Man. So it was one we're... of the biggest grossing films of all time. Yeah. And it, it just, uh, as, as, as you might say, it crapped all over the competition. Mm -hmm. It was very, very popular. I saw it several times, and many other people did the same thing. It's one thing to get people to okay. come to see your movie once. When people go five, six, ten times, that's when the numbers start going up. And mm -hmm. that's what Oscar looks at. They've traditionally always bowed down to the box office numbers and okay. and had them. Thank so. you for that. So we're going to we're going to have we're going to have a Twitter uh, poll up, up on my website, up on my Twitter account that we can all vote now. Who's gonna get the write-in vote? It's gonna be either, you think it's gonna be Ant-Man. It's Ant-Man or Decker versus Dracula. Well, that's not a movie, so. <laughs> well, it's that it's is. a movie in that, as we originally intended it and scripted it, it was movie <clears throat> length. You aborted part of it. All right, it. fine. But uh, as a write-in, we're not, I as a like write -in, we're not subject I to the up, same rules and regulations up. as for a movie right, that's quiet. officially nominated. I don't know why I have him on. So I, I, I think it's, it's people love fine. Decker you versus got your, Dracula. Ant-Man. Ant-Man, camera on me. Ant-Man, Decker versus Dracula, number two. I would like to think fan behind me, Fantastic Four is a good shot. No, it's a good in. movie. It has a chance. Yeah. It's it's is a darker set. It wasn't as goofy and and silly as Ant-Man. It had a serious t quality to it. I thought it was a great movie directed by the wonderful Josh Trank, my captain, and starring myself. Unfortunately, it got cut out of a number of scenes. That's a good pass. Which I wanted to ask Fantastic you: If you pay fifteen thousand dollars to be in a movie and they cut the scenes out, do you get a partial refund? Are you pulling that? Okay. Oh. I'm not. I didn't pay any money. You know that. That's old news. 
Fourth number, I have to give it to, and I think this is gonna be the winner, Decker, Hawaii, Port of Call Hawaii. Everyone's like, that, wasn't that 10 years ago? Uh, folks, it was the beginning of 2015. How many people here remember Decker versus Hawaii? That's the shot. That's, it That's the one. That's, That's the, the one. one. Thing we might and agree that was on. a movie because we put that out in the theaters. That premiered in LA and Los Angeles in Hollywood in at the May. Cine Family Theater in May in 2015, and it has a legitimate shot. I think it's going to be between Fan Four and. Um, and uh, Decker, and Decker versus, versus Hawaii. No, De Decker Hawaii. You'll see it on the big screen. No, that could that win. I'm going to have to agree with you. And I and don't think the Revenant is going to be able to compete with I something like that. I don't think like so that. either. No, honestly, no. I mean, a lot of the movies that came out this year were garbage, especially the movies that were put up there as these best picture movies. A lot of movies people don't even get to see. Um, I can't wait to hear your opinions on some of the other movies, why they didn't get picked. Let me ask you a question just while we're on the subject. Who owned... 16. Who owned 15? Who owned 2015 at the movies? Uh, this isn't going to be a controversial answer. It's going to be one that you hear year after year. I think it was Johnny Depp, uh, which Speaking is why I'm really excited yeah, that he might awesome. be coming in because I'd What's love to talk about? to him. What's that about? Where's that? Give me your analysis there, your background. He made two movies that I think were among the top five of the year, The Black Mask uh, with Tim Burton and uh, Mort Desai uh, also with Tim Burton. And... Uh, I'd have to check to see if these were nominated for many awards this year, but regardless, in terms of box office and influence and fan excitement, uh, these were among the top films. Nobody of the year. comes close. Uh, Ant Man comes close, but uh, you know Johnny Depp's in a league of his own, and I would love to have him walk the walk our little why red carpet Star here Wars, and why talk. Why wasn't to Star Wars in that Best Picture thing? Why people didn't people, people didn't talk about that? Uh, I Star think Wars. from what I'm hearing from my sources. Uh, people didn't like working with George Lucas. He has a, a I guess mm -hmm. he's just not a nice guy to be around. And so um, you got this was people a big in the industry. For, this was a, was a big, big comeback, comeback and it's a great, Lucas. it's a great movie. But there's a lot of people that work on the film mm -hmm. who are political. voting. So Everybody, that's the thing. thing. Everyone who works on a film votes in the Oscars. And when you're doing okay. things like uh, being a cheapskate right. with the catering and stuff yeah. like that, people no, that's don't want to vote for you. that's the thing is because a lot of times. Sometimes if you're a Hollywood bad boy like Johnny Depp or George Lucas, you make enemies left and right yeah, because exactly. you do the things that you want to do. You make the choices you want to make. When Johnny Depp gets together with Tim Burton, they do something like Black Mask, they're going to make enemies because everyone's thinking, you guys got to follow our rules. And that's what we do with the band because a lot of producers want to come in and tell Dakar how we should sound, how we should add hip hop or whatever to the, to the blend. And frankly, you know, we don't do it. We stick to our roots. So there's sort of that whole, that's sort of the connection I had with Johnny when we met at the Rainbow Room. So what, and, I mean, um, what time did he say he was going to come by? I gave him the, a real wide window because this is going to be on for about three hours. So he's welcome to come by. Johnny, if you're watching, I know we're not far from where you are up in the Hollywood Hills, hanging out with Marilyn Manson and the whole gang and doing that party, uh, that stuff that you guys get into. I don't want to talk about Because I bought a Johnny Depp uh, um, signed Edward Scissorhands, like an 8x10 still, that you've seen. I had framed mm -hmm. in, in my apartment. And then um, I was showing it to a friend of mine who's an, another movie buff, but he's also an autograph buff. And he right. was saying that the, it didn't look like the right signature. Mm. So I've always thought if I ever had a chance to meet Johnny Depp, I would get him to... Sign Verify, something. Yeah. That, well, well, no one, just know to sign something new. Uh -huh. So it's just like I know no I saw about you it. sign yeah. it. I know that right. you signed it. So that well, would let's be a do cool something. thing speaking to do. Of, uh, speaking of uh, the Oscars, we I guess you've prepared another uh, visit to the Dolby Theater. It's a sort of a tradition here that we have on the Oscar special. It's got um, a twist to it too, in that uh, at I well as you know I start in one of the biggest films of the year, Ant Man, and we had our premiere at the Dolby Theater, which gave me. Access. Did you guys see the to the backstage of the Dolby Theater? Did you guys Theater. see Ant, Ant Man yet? Did you guys the band see Ant Man? No, I not, not, didn't get a lot of play with amongst. Well, that, you know, that musicians, crowd. druggies, they don't often get out of their house. Well, you watch know. what you say. But all right, um, let's do this. Let's but I, cut to I was your... in the Dolby Theater. That's the cool thing is okay. that I got to tour, and I did a behind the scenes tour of the green rooms and the backstage and everything that you don't see when you watch the <clears> Oscars. And I put together a feature film about it that we're going to screen tonight. All right, when we come back from this, we're going to get some results, find out who you guys think is going to be the write-in vote this year. Like we said earlier, it's either uh, Ant-Man, uh, Fantastic Four, or we got, um, oh, what are the other ones? Decker versus Dracula. 
and uh, Decker versus Hawaii. And you can go to twitter.com slash Greg right. Turkington, Thank you. and I'll That's, be putting those polls yeah, up, you, and you can The official poll there. results will be on at Tim Heidecker. So let's, let's go. We're gonna, we have five minutes until the Oscars begin, so before that, let's go right to Dolby Theater, where we got the report from Greg coming in. We'll be right back. This is Greg Turkington with On Cinema at the Cinema. We're backstage here at the world-famous Dolby Theater. This is the very hallway that the stars walk down with Oscar gold in their hands. This is exclusive footage for On Cinema at the Cinema. This is the corner where the Oscar uh, actors would turn uh, and collect their awards, whatever, uh, for best picture, actor, or even um, director. Fantastic Four movies are garbage. All right, well, I didn't get that at all. I didn't get the point of that at all. That was the worst one yet. All right, um, we're going to start the Oscars. We're going to watch the Oscars. Uh, yeah, I just, when you put that shit... Um, at the end there, is that part of the tour? Of the, where did that come from? It seemed completely, um, it was a snipe job. It was a snipe job. And I'm just asking uh, I, yeah, people it's for just their not, opinions. It's the, it, like the, the, the vibes were all wrong. I'm so glad that um, I've got people, supportive people around me that, uh, that are not trying to snipe me left and right like they're playing bass lines from some other It's because they're on group. your salary, because you get, you're paying them. Uh, I'm going to get an intro. I forgot to mention this, guys, before the Oscars start. They're starting any minute now, but we're going to get a live call in from Dr. Ben Carson. Uh, he's just taken his self, uh, he's agreed to call into the show and give us not talk politics. I know you're worried about that, but we are just going to talk movies. I'm excited to hear what the good doctor has to say about movies. And uh, we'll, we'll enjoy to hear what he has to say about this upcoming, uh, not the race so much, but just to hear, let, get his perspective on the race. Chaplin's is standing by. We got Mark Proch coming up. Mark Proch coming up at the break, and um, and we got a poll before we go to the Oscars. Let's find out the poll. Play it again. What did you think of Decker uh, covering that? Play it again. Sixty percent. Look at that. That's fantastic. And that's huge. I mean, if you it's compare that to twenty-three hours left, though, so I probably wouldn't read too much into well, that. Well, these are live rolling polls, as they call, as they're called. And that's a pretty good. I, I put up a couple polls uh, myself, and I. I would love to see the results right, well, of those because I think my polls are the fair polls. I think you have a good chance at finding out the real deal. They're all there. equally valid polls because they're all on the all same right. website. Well, let's look at Mired in numbers. Let's, let's talk Turkington. about how excited are we for the 80th anniversary? The 80th is it the 80th? 80th Oscar anniversary. This is the very excited. Enjoy us. We'll take a break and we'll be right back for more on cinema Oscar special fourth annual. So glad to be here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the Oscar revolution.
Well, what do we think? Chris Rock is is get, giving him hell. <laughs> I think it's funny. I think it's fine that people get kind of um, roasted a little bit with the Oscars, and I like that sense of humor. You know? I mean, in short, small doses, but really, it's more a night for uh, people to share their expertise about the movies and not throw in jokes that really don't have anything to do with anything. You know what I mean? Um, you were going to do a, a popcorn classic here based on an Oscar edition popcorn classic real quick? Yeah, you know, there's a lot of films, for whatever reason, that are great films and Oscar-worthy films that get neglected by the Academy. Every year there are hundreds like this. And uh, sometimes, as time goes on, they slip through the cracks. Uh, this one is one of them. It's Christian Slater in Cuffs uh, from 1991. One hour, 42 minutes. <laughs> I gotta say, this is a funny movie. Bruce Boxleitner. Hmm. Yeah, I liked this one. Anyway, if you have right. a chance well, to see was, Cuffs, I, I recommend it. Um, let's keep our eye on how many of those we do. Let's do this, guys. We're going to, for the first time ever, uh, with the Oscar Special Four here, we're going to send it over to our big special guest, one of our big special guests, and this is what makes this night so fun, is it's a, it's a way to honor our past. It's a way to look back and salute uh, what made Hollywood Hollywood. And are we ready for him? Ladies and gentlemen, the first of many, let's bring out the Marx Brothers. Marx? Marx Brothers. Chico Marx. Chico Marx. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. Hi, how are you doing? Everything going well? I got my buddies Harpo. Sorry, uh... I've got my buddies right, Harpo you. and Gummo we, and um, Zeppo. Excuse me, hey Mark? And you're supposed to start with the uh, uh, Chico, all right? On the card He's... it says Chico. Every I don't know whose fault that is. Somebody fucked up. The the you're supposed to be in Chico wardrobe, so. But I got, I'm doing. I have the Mark Grouchy right now. So why don't I just do him? I you know what, Mark? That's not my problem. We have to stick with what we got on the cards, uh, or it screws the whole rest of the night up. Can you get into the Chico shit mm -hmm. now? Get into the Chico shit now. Makeup. Get somebody to get him out of that. And can we do that and get the mustache off and everything. Stand by. We got a little. As you guys know, there's always a little uh, uh, issues with the technicals. But uh, thanks. Stand by. Well, Mark. That's why I asked Mark to come in early to uh, rehearse this. We got the Marx Brothers coming up, so Mar starring Mark Proach. We can't just, you know, have dead air. On the schedule. Well, this is what happens when you've got a live first. camera camera one. This is what happens when you got a live show. Some things don't go, you know, when you have $100 million to produce the Oscars, guess what? Things kind of go as planned. Oh, how exciting. But this is live, and we, we're, we're, we're ready for things to kind of go in a different direction. Let's get it right, though. Let's not just, it just wouldn't uh, make live sense with... sense to start with Groucho, because that would be no, the climax. No, first of all, Groucho is sort of that... Uh, that's the climax. That's where you want to hit last. You want to warm things up. You don't want to start with Groucho. Then people are going to tune Zeppo, out. Zeppo, uh, Oh, we're not Chico. going to do those other ones. Are you ready? And Let's put him. Harpo. He's good as is. He looks good as is. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll do the intro again. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Proach as Chico Marx. You want to buy a horse? I get you a horse. You want a van? I get you a van. You want a car? I get you a car. My name is Chico Marx, and I got my name because I like to chase the chicks. Uh, I, uh, 
I was the oldest of the Marx Brothers, um, and I was the oldest of the Marx Brothers, and uh, I was also then the first to die. Uh, I died in 1961 uh, from ar ar arterial sclerosis, uh, but I was always a gambling. I like to gamble, and a lot of times my uh, uh, my brothers uh, helped me out quite a bit financially, um, financially speaking. And uh, I, I, had a, I had a good life. I was very close to my daughter. Um, and she wrote a book called uh, 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 Chick, The uh, Daughter of Chicka. Or, and uh, she loved me a lot. And uh, I went on. I, did, uh, I went to Europe and I toured with my brother, uh, Goofball, Harpo. And he, he, uh, he stopped touring with me because he had a heart attack. From Mark, uh, Chico Marx, Marx Brothers. Mark, I had a joke earlier. Uh, I had a joke earlier that kind of landed. Um, I thought got a lot of laughs from the crew and everybody. I literally said, <laughs> set the bit up, not to give everything away, but I said, what if Marx had brothers, Marx brothers, and your name is, or what if Mark had brothers? Anyways, how you doing? I mean, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to Mark. How you doing, Mark? Uh, I'm good. Uh, Would have liked a little more time to prepare on that one. Thought I was, uh, and just with my the nose and well, stuff. Well, let's get a Twitter poll going, everybody. How did Mark do as Mark, uh, uh, Chico Marx? And we'll find out. We'll give him a one to five. One to five. I give him a five. I thought Let's that was check terrific. The, I, I had a couple Twitter polls that I started, and I'm just checking in now to see the results those of those. Best picture. Look at this. Oh, that's Greg's. We're not showing Greg's, by the way. Can we not show Greg's on the big screen? He cut cut Greg's out. He cut Greg's out. I had another one. Well, Do I'm you like talk to the director uh, for a car? Hold on. Do you Excuse like the car? Hey. Here we go. I don't want you using Greg's up on the screen. Not. You don't touch Greg's. His it's stupid the same. Don't it's work. the same website, Tim. It doesn't matter which no, person you got is hosting your Greg it. Hit. You I got can't your... alter the results. Huh? I can't. I have nothing to do with the results. Obviously, I'm on air All the right, whole well, time. Who, I can't. Can we, yeah, that's alter. it. Who's getting the write-in vote? Ant Man still at 25 percent. Okay. Well, well, look at that. Decker Porta Call Hawaii 32 percent. That's that's good. I don't know why there's a check by Ant Man. That's a mistake. All right, folks. Um, are we going to break? Look at that, Tim. Did you see Buh. that? By the way, everyone's complaining. This is Diet Coke, ladies and gentlemen. Diet Coke, okay? Uh, I, like I said earlier, I haven't had a drop since last year. I learned my lesson, Joe. Joe Estevez, everybody. As you told me, Timmy, and I, uh, and I believe you, my thank friend. Thank you, Joe. So guess what? And the boys got me, too. They got my back. Now, these guys aren't as clean and sober as me. I'll be honest, these guys know how to party. But I'm just getting a little caffeine, so everybody calm down. And I want to hear all kinds of conspiracy theories about what's going on with that. So as you see, no champagne or any of that crap. That's just, it's not what you need to have fun. I use uh, nutritional vaping from Dr. San. Thank you, Dr. San, who provided me with that. And, uh, and I have a couple of Cokes every once in a while, a couple of Diet Cokes. And you're not having anything to drink. You got some bottle of water. And we'll see you in a few minutes, two minutes. We'll be right back with more Oscar special coverage. Thanks for checking in. We'll be right back. Applause. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the fourth annual uh, On Cinema Oscar special. Tim Heidecker here. I got my boys Duck Carr joining me, uh, Axiom, and Manuel, which uh, I guess we haven't really got to introduce you properly yet, but the Carr is a big, he's a big part of the success of the Carr. And Greg Turkington sitting in. We got Mark Pretch hanging out, doing the Marx Brothers. And I got something pretty special planned right now. Um, it's kind of something I've wanted to do for a long time. 
Back in the good old days of the Oscars, a uh, guy named Billy Crystal used to do a wonderful montage using the best picture movies as the theme. And I wanted to do something really different and really special. So for the past couple weeks, I've been writing um, a, a medley uh, of music based on the best picture movies. That's enough of the fog, thank you. And um, so I put this song together. I'm incredibly excited about how it came out. It's just really, it's sort of, it's not a literal sort of, this song is about, this movie's about this. It's sort of my own interpretation based on the titles of the movies. I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud that um, I get to perform it for you guys. So here we go. It's gonna, I'm gonna put my drink down. And uh, it's Oscar Medley 16, starring Dakar. Okay, still ready? Spotlight, I'm under the light of a Spotlight is shining so bright Spotlight, I'm under the light of a Spotlight is shining so bright Hey! I'm relevant That's my middle name I'm relevant Changing the game, staying in focus, center of it all. The world is watching me. The world is watching me. I'm standing on the bridge of spies. I'm sick of hearing all these goddamn lies. I'm standing on the bridge of spies. Why don't you take off your disguise? Mad Max, giving all the ladies heart attacks. Oh, every night, come on, Mad Max, I'm giving them all. When I'm living in Brooklyn, just trying to make my way. I'm working on my music while she's out in LA. I'm strumming on my bass guitar. She's posing for the magazine. Never thought we'd get this far. Following a Hollywood dreams. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah.
Watch it, watch it, watch what's coming. What's coming down the well is not what anybody wants. All right. <clears throat> Let's hear it. Take that. So that's uh, my tribute to the Oscars. Good luck to everybody uh, out there. Vote uh, all the best picture winners. Thanks. Let's hear it for the big pec uh, best picture winners. I think it's uh, none of the above. <laughs> yeah. Let's hear it for my Oscar medley, everybody. Woo. All right, everybody. I think we're going to take a break right now. We're going to come back. We got lots in store. Yeah. Wow, what do you think of that? The Dakar uh, revolution happening um, on this stage. The Oscar medley, Greg, your thoughts? I thought it was kind of, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I know you're, I know you're on the fence with Dakar and everything, but I thought it was cool that we were able to incorporate the movies and make it about the movies. I know you were sensitive to that. I would love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts, too. <clears throat> on, the lyrics didn't have anything to do with the films. These weren't the theme songs. No. And even if they were, well, I don't we think the music do, belongs on. on the show. We didn't have the rights to use the theme songs for these movies, so I had to improvise and make up my own mu music, which a lot of people online are already saying it's some of the best stuff they've not heard the, out of the Not car. the stuff I'm reading. And um, all right. Well, thank you for letting me do that. I, I really had a good time, and thanks to the band. Let's hear it for Dakar. And um, all right, well, like we said earlier, we are going to settle some scores. We're going to solve some issues that we've had between us. One of the things we're going to get to is uh, the DNA test of yeah. James Dean. And James is here. Or I'm going to call him James. Uh, Mr. Dean. Whatever his name is. He... Let's see. Can we give him a hello? Hello. There he is. And... Hello, Mr. Dean. Hello. So he's a giant. To here's me. a couple. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna determine whether or not Mr. Dean or Mr. I'll call him Jones um, is no. in fact who he says he is. And the way we're gonna do that is, and it's this is the beauty, beauty of compromise. That's that's how compromise works these days. Greg, you've agreed to provide the samples, um, and you want to talk about that? Yeah, I actually have a friend um, that I've gotten to know through my circles I run in of film buffs and film experts and things. Um, I have a friend and she works at the Hollywood Movie Museum on Hollywood Boulevard and they actually have there uh, a pair of James Dean's pants from the set of 1955's Rebel Without a Cause. All right. And they have it in glass. It's, it's on a mannequin. Uh, it's not accessible to the public. They've had it for many, many years. It's part of their permanent collection. She found, when she was cleaning the thing, uh, a hair 
that was in the zipper of the jeans. Okay. His pants. Yeah, a hair that is uh, believed to have been, well clearly, uh, these, these pants were taken straight from the set of Rebel Without a Cause in 1955, okay. and this museum acquired them at that time. So this is a strand of James Dean's hair, and then I also provided, well, and you can see it right here, uh, the James Dean 1955 hair. I can't even see, is there anything in there? Yeah, there's a, there's, it's just one piece. And then I provided from Mr. Dean in 2016 uh, a lock of his hair currently. And by running the tests on both of these, you will find uh, a complete 100% okay. match. Now, like I said, Greg has agreed to put the, uh, has agreed to create the samples. I didn't create the, the samples. samples. No, I'm saying this you, came from you, the Hollywood you provide the movie I, I, museum, I, I, I which trust is, you. I trust you. Has been around for a long time. Is and very well respected. I am. So you're. You've agreed to do that, and you've agreed to uh, let me be in charge of who tests the DNA. As so long let me as they welcome use to the stage. standard methods. Yeah, they yeah. will. Let me welcome to the stage the good Dr. Sand. Dr. Sand, thank you very much for coming to the. Thank you very much. And we don't have a chair for you because it's one of these. But let me ask you, good to see you. Good to see you guys. How are you? Great. All right, Dr. San in the house. What do you think about this Dr. Carson? Do you ever think you want to run for president? Dr. Ben Carson out there running for president? I can see you becoming a good president too. Well, doctors do care about people. That's right. And so try to care about people and not want to hurt people more and what than this country needs is somebody person. that's going to take care of us and know how to uh, treat us right. Somebody that doesn't come from inside the beltway, the, the Hollywood, the uh, D.C., Cartel, that could be Carson. We'll look, we'll look forward to hearing him when he calls in, doctor. Call in, we're waiting for your call. He said he was going to call in about 20 minutes ago. All right, so talk to me about what you're going to do with these. Talk to me about DNA. What is it? Why do we care about it? How do you know that it's going to be the same guy as uh, these sa samples of hair? What is hair? Well, hair contains... Why does hair have DNA? I thought you just... Why, would, why wouldn't your body have DNA? Every cell in your body contains DNA, and DNA is the basic building blocks of life that flow go. through everything. And so if those two samples come from the same person, we will be able to figure that out. Cool. And you know what? DNA was discovered, most people think that DNA was discovered about 50 or so years ago. Yeah. But it turns out the Chinese figured it out. Oh, look at that. 5,000 years ago. Chinese got DNA figured out before anyone else did. They wrote about it. They in also the developed the wall. No, it's true. They made the Great Wall of China and then something we could use on our southern border as well. Go ahead. Um, so, That's yeah. funny you brought it up. That's all. I didn't mean to make it sh sh shift the tone. Let's turn it back to you. The, yeah, the DNA. yeah, uh, so it's, you know, there's, there's dormant strains of DNA that flow within us. Sure. And uh, mm. some, people, some people believe that if you meditate for long okay. periods of time, you can awaken these certain strands of DNA within yourself that you already have within you, and you could become clairvoyant and <laughs> basically like neat. a superhuman. Just fly around, do whatever you want to do. Just meditate and change your DNA and do whatever you want. What, will these strands of hair, because this is a genuine piece of history, the 1955, because these came from the set of Rebel Without a Cause. It came from Were his these, jeans, from his zipper? Yeah. From his jeans? They, 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 Sorry, Joe, go ahead. Very shit. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, yeah. so I'm just wondering, do you, do you have to destroy the hairs in order to do the test, or is it something that you can do the test and then wash the strand afterwards from the chemicals? Because I should return this to the museum that I'm borrowing it from, and I wouldn't want the, the uh, hair to dissolve. Yeah, it's something. a good question. Um, the solutions that I'm going to be using are 100% organic. And, uh, I'll put you on the spot. Have you tested DNA before, confirmed it? Yes. Okay. There you go. I have. Master himself okay. is here. Well, be and careful with these. I will. And, and, um, okay. Well, by the two, end of the show, two samples from an American legend, James Dean, and I'm excited. Okay. To I'll, have I'm going to throw this out there as a Twitter poll. Let's find out. Stay here for a sec. Will Dr. San reveal Dr. Will, will Dr. San reveal James Dean to be a fraud or the real deal? Find out 
now that Twitter poll. We'll, we'll set that up on and timheidecker.com. Anybody who's seen Mr. Dean's uh, comeback film, Decker vs. Dracula, could spot that it's the same actor okay, well, and the same your style. Your commentary is not necessary. What I want from you is your assurance and guarantee that the results from, my, from Dr. Sam will be final and they'll be official and you will live with those results. I went and toured the laboratory earlier and I believe it's that up on the up and up. I, I believe it's on the up and up. Shake and my hand. I guarantee you that the results will prove okay. that James Dean is James Dean. And all right. I would like That's all I need to hear. I, I would need like to hear that you're not going to come you. back and say, "Well, he's I would a like assurance from you that if we are able to prove that he's James Dean, that we can go back into production and complete Decker versus Dracula, starring not, James Dean." I, I'm not agreeing to that, but let's uh, get you to work and. Good luck. Okay, thank you. Thank you, doctor, for coming by. Okay. Let's hear it for Dr. Sam. Be careful with the, with the samples. <clears throat> what's going on with the Oscars? Does anybody care? Does anybody know? What, what's the vibe? Is, are there people, has there been a terrorist attack or anything? It's a top, it's a top target for ISIS. And we're all worried about that, and believe me, we're not doing enough to protect ourselves from that threat. It's a threat. And You're making this Oscar studio a, a sort of a, a target for terrorists of people that don't like bad music. That no, that's mean. That's mean spirited. I love it studio. though. I like the ribbing. I like that. It's like I'm almost on the. Uh, uh, oh, come on, Johnny uh, roasts. It's like that. You jabbing me? I'll jab you back. Trust me, hard. Ask Mark. Ask Mark what you do when you cross me. All right. Um, moving on, we are going to start what we talked about earlier, the uh, Oscar Olympics. Now, can you introduce the first crap about the, uh, uh, t the Lord of the Rings toss? I thought that was a cool name, Lord of the Rings toss. Yeah, we're setting up what we are calling the Oscar Olympics this year to determine uh, which is the better film between Ant-Man and Fantastic Four. So we've put together a <laughs> couple of teams of devoted fans of each film, and there are many fans of each Where film. Where are they? And they are going to compete in a series of games uh, based on Olympic games, uh, the winners of which, when we have the team that wins two out of the three games, they will have proven that theirs is the better film. And this should be a lot of fun. It's fun for the audience. And our special celebrity judge and referee is none other than our own Joe Estevez. Joe, come on out of here, Joe. Come on. Uh, I'm, I'm honored to be here, fellas. Honored to be here. Thank you for inviting okay. me. Thanks, Joe, for yeah. doing this uh, for We'll us be right today. back. Hold on, Joe. Let's talk to Joe for a sec. Joe, uh, have you ever been to the Oscars? I, I, I've driven yes by Yes or there. no? Well, yes or no? No. No. All right. No. No. Did you see uh, Ant-Man Fantastic Four? Uh, no. All right. No. no. Joe, what is your vibe on this uh, Oscar Olympics? Now, is that something you're looking forward to? Or well, no? I, I think, you know, I think it's a great inclusion here. And in in, in, it's all fun and games, and I think this would be a great part of it, and I'm... Honored to be the referee. I got the whistle. Well, give the whistle a go. Let's go. Okay, here we, we go. Now, I tried it out earlier. It's not, you know, but here we go. Uh, well, uh, That's pretty lame. That wasn't huh? great. That's pretty lame. Hey, let by me, the way, one everybody, one best supporting actress, Elisa Vickalak. Hold on. I'm okay. trying to get some news okay. here. The whole reason right. people watch is so they can get information on what's going on with the Oscars mm. if they don't have access to the awards. The, the, the whistle's important. The uh, best supporting actress is Alicia Vicklock, Vicklanker. From the Danish girl. No one saw oh. it. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody, to the fourth annual Tim and uh, Tim Heidecker Oscar Special, starring Greg Turkington as uh, my sidekick. And thank you very much for joining us on the On Cinema Oscar special, fourth annual. Joe Estevez with me as always. Honored to be here. Honored to be here, gentlemen. Thank you. 
We are going to start for the first annual to decide what is the best movie. Is it Ant-Man? Is it Fantastic Four? I have my own opinions. It is Fantastic Four. Okay. But we will, uh, for the sake of sh putting on a show, we got to do something. We're going to do the Oscar Olympics. So, first up, Joe, the Oscar, Oscar Olympics. We have... on these cues. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, Action. You're lucky you didn't come Here we go. We would have had to hear Drake car practice. Joe, talk about Lord of the Rings. Toss. All right. Now, uh, uh, here's our contestants. And uh, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, my name's Joe. And I'd like you to introduce yourselves. Your Sorry. Go ahead. Everybody it, knows your name. I introduced you nine it, times today. It, it, Introduce yourselves and tell me, tell me, yeah, what's your name? My name's Matt. Matt, tell me about this uh, outfit here, um, man. I'm Ant Man. Ant Man, do you make that yourself? My, my I don't want this. Oh, you, you, then this is your wife? Yeah. Lovely wife. What's your name, dear? Phoebe. Phoebe, and yeah. who made this lovely outfit for you? I did also. Oh, this one. is there a connection between Ant Man and, 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 or I'm sorry, Ant Man and, and Baskin and Robbins? Well, Greg, who's you, a hero what are you of mine, is the manager um, of Baskin Robbins. Getting together. Oh. To, you know, gotcha. To pay, you know, homage to him. All right, I'm going to see it. I'm going to see it. Okay. And there's we got the the bumblebee. I'm assuming. Yeah. yeah. And your name is? I'm Bill. Bill. And what's the connection with the bumblebee and and uh, and uh, uh, Ant Man? Yeah, I think he's in it. The bumblebee is in the movie. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yellow oh, the yellow jacket. jacket. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're yellow jacket. Okay, I got you. All right, I'll see the movie. I'll see the movie. Okay, coming over here, and you, dear, tell me your name. And this is the Fantastic Four team, and your name is? Brittany. Brittany, and and and, and I guess you were a little late okay. on getting the outfit, huh? Oh, oh there. Yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Let me get between you here, Brittany. And, and your name, lovey? Ileana. Ileana. And, 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 all right, and... and, and uh, this Derek. is obvious, all right. Your name is Derek. Derek. Okay. All right, ladies. Now here's the deal. Joe, yes. Can you ask them how much? They paid? How much did you pay to be in the Fantastic Four team? They said they didn't pay anything. Uh oh, this this is getting a little rowdy here now. Okay. And I don't. I assume you 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 folks didn't pay anything, right? No, you don't. Have to pay no, anything. no. There was no. No money uh, exchanged hands here. All right, now here's the deal. Uh, here, it's, it's very simple. Now, the winner will be, here's your, your folks' rings. Here, take those rings there. All right, this is your rings. Here you go. Ah, take those rings there. All right, now, whoever gets the most rings in the allotted time, that, that team wins the best movie, okay? Now, the time will be up. When I blow this whistle, I have I have the whistle. Okay, all right. Now, are you ready? Do you have your official? Okay, all right. Now, you you understand? You have to get it on the any one of those five, and the one that gets the most, they're the winner. Okay, we ready? I'll blow the whistle and we'll start off here. Okay. It's a pretty late whistle. Okay, let's start. Okay. Whoa! We won! One to nothing for the ant. Oh, okay. Whoop! And a sandwich thrown in there. Okay. All right. Okay. And, uh, oh, two to nothing. To, game's still happening here. We need to... No, no, you haven't won yet, have they? I mean, I, I haven't blown the whistle yet. Well, they can't collect the rings and... Well, okay. Then we got a winner. The uh, Ant-Man! Ant-Man, the winners! Close uh, second place, uh, Fantastic Four. Yeah. Okay, all right, okay. Well, they won, they got one point, whatever. Okay, so, thank you, Kent. You were absolutely <laughs> terrific. Great job. There's more Two games, but after... Yes, that's yeah. for one, round one round of three. One, so stick, okay. stick around. They got one. Ant-Man yeah. got one. Apologizes you, for throwing sandwiches. No, I didn't throw any sandwiches. That was somebody else. 
That was good. That was good, though. You guys are good. Yeah, two out of awesome. four. That was terrific. Good actually. work for you. And you yeah. guys got to step it up. Next round, I'm telling you, it's yeah. really bad what you did. You should have yeah. done a lot better. There's two more You're imitating your lunch. performance in Fantastic That's Four not by right. doing That's a not poor nice. job. Thank you. Are you going to sit by, down in your chair? By buying their way onto the team. Are you going to be on this team now? job anyway. Well, we can give him a hand. Maybe your scene can be cut out of the special like his was cut out of the movie. Shut up. Yeah. All right. Well, that's great fun, huh? Well, that was our uh, round one of the Oscar Olympics. How about that? And the Ant Man, the Ant, Ant Men. Uh, I tell you what, if this is all you do with your life, uh, congratulations. If this is the be best night of your life, that's pretty sad. But you it's know. something. It it's is something. Some, yeah. You know. Yeah. We'll all be right. back with more of these. All right. Okay. What's happening next? All right. We'll be right back in a couple minutes. Stick around, we got much more ahead. Congratulations, everybody. Welcome back to the fourth annual On Cinema Oscar special. I'm Tim Heidecker, joined by my guest, Greg Turkington. Thank you very much, Greg, for being a part of the show. Congratulations to Mad Max that just picked Mad up a few Max, statuettes for best costume the design. Give me some of that. Giving all the ladies heart attacks. Oh, I'm a nine Mad Max. Giving all the ladies heart attacks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, I mean, I mean, what great lyrics, right? I mean, just to be able to go, ah, yeah, Mad Max, giving all the ladies heart attacks. Perfect. Eh, eh whatever. I mean. It's not hard, but you won't, you it's won't like, be why hearing isn't that anybody else radio, doing it? That's for sure. No, you won't. Anyway, we got the big show planned right now. We got big guests. I'm so excited to have them here. Greg, uh, help me out getting this guy. I'm not sure too much about D. him. D. Thompson D. wrote Thompson a book on yeah. how I went to the Oscars right. without a ticket, which Thanks. is sort of every movie buff's dream. Yeah. Here and, we go, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome scoop. to the stage Mr. D. Thompson. And... How are you? Good, good to see good. you. Yeah, I just like that van. That's a cool van. <laughs> How you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, D. Thompson, have a little applause. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. How's Dr. Sand doing with his DNA test? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks, Anyways. Guys. So, Mr. Thompson, thank you so much for coming down. Now, why aren't you at the Oscars? Oh, because I'm here with you guys. <laughs> oh. Thanks so much for having they me. They must have your picture at the door now that they know what you're capable of. Yeah, So yeah, people they... are calling and going, uh, what, what do you mean this guy went to the You snuck into the Oscars? Give us the whole feedback on that. Give us the whole... Well, I didn't sneak in. You know, a lot of oh, you people didn't say sneak snuck in. in you okay, know? sorry. I used it's, the wrong word. It's, it's a, well, wait a minute. Now, this says, this is your book. You wrote this. This is a book. True story. How I went to the Oscars without a ticket. Without now, a ticket. Okay, so you didn't sneak in. You went to the Oscars. Give us the story. Well, I'm, um, you know, Ben. Or should the they read the book? They should read the book. <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> promote absolutely. Promote the book. I'll just give them a nice little snippet of, you know. Uh, okay, uh, give us the short story. Short story. We don't have the whole treatment. night. But, uh, you know, uh, it's a faith-based inspirational book. Okay. And uh, my mother was evangelist minister, Ben, from North Carolina. Yeah, uh, you like that? You know, so uh, it's a Cinderella-like story, you know. I prayed and asked God to let me go to the Oscars, and I went to the Oscars. Walked there and rode home in a limousine with total strangers. With total strangers. With total strangers. Does the book tell you how you can do that, too? I mean, is it, is it a blueprint for getting into the Oscars? Well, it's a faith-based book. You know, you can get into the Oscars, you can get into anything. You know, and it's an inspirational book about, you know, uh, whatever it is you want to accomplish in life. You know, people come to Hollywood with dreams, and I came here as an actor many years ago. Mm -hmm. Actually, 20 years ago. And wow. uh, went to the Oscars. I was living in a boarding house. Now, is this made up? So you're in some you, movies? What movies well, I'm asking were you questions. in? You're here to do color <laughs> commentary. But is this, a made, is this a fake magazine or not? Are you on the cover of Hollywood Weekly? Hollywood yeah, Weekly, yes. Magazine. Hollywood Weekly. I've been on uh, World News Tonight. Get out of that. You know, uh, done so interviews. And... 
I thought everybody that goes to the Oscars got to be either nominated or you got to be one of these Hollywood players or what. So what happened? How'd you get in there? Well, I, you know, uh, I didn't have a tuxedo or anything. I had a double-breasted suit, and I didn't know anything about the Oscars, but where I was living in South Central Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, found out where the Oscars was at and, you know, passing out my headshots back in the day, you know, black and white, eight by tens, and... Uh, went to the Funny Oscars. you say black and white. What is your perspective on this whole oh, black <laughs> issue with the Oscars? People are saying that we're not respectful of blacks because they're not at the Oscars. I don't know much about it. But. Well, you know, last year you said, okay, there's no nominees that are of color. So this year it happens again. You're like, wait a minute, stop the press. Somebody's, somebody's What's messing going with on the here? system. Right, right, right. So you just, you just want an opportunity as an African-American, as an actor. Mm. I'm an actor, writer, you know, and I branded my story, you know, and they call me the Oscar guy in Hollywood. So you just want an opportunity, you know, for your performance, for your work, and uh, like anything, you know, baseball, basketball, you know, you want to just be able to give an, an opportunity. Now, if you what were kind of seats did you have with the ones that you got when you got in there? Let me tell you, I was there when uh, Celine Dion was there. Cuba Gooding Jr. got the uh, uh, supporting See, Oscar. See, there you for, go. Now, that for, makes the whole point kind of moot, because yeah. if he's getting the Oscar, then... Who's complaining? Why, why, why is everybody complaining? Well, this was back in 1996. So you know, 1996. better from then. No. You would think. 2016. Fast forward 2016. You know. I don't know. So uh, I mean, two years he, in a he row. He made a movie last year too. Yeah. He made a couple of movies, and, and he didn't get nominated. It seems a little fishy to me. You well, know, the whole issue. Absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of great films out, and there's a lot of great films with you know uh, people of color in them. There you go. So uh, you know, why not? Where where's the you know uh, diversity? So. We don't know. The, the questions is always there, you know. We just need an opportunity, you know. And, I think, uh, well, listen, yeah. I, don't, I don't know about that. You know, yeah. I don't know. I'm colorblind, so I don't even know. Same you here. Know? That's why I'm like, what? what is everybody all upset about? And I love I'm movies. not upset. You know? That's why I'm not out there, you know, protesting I love them the too. whole event. Right. And I work for the Oscars And now. it undermines yeah. the whole thing, doesn't it, yeah. when people complain. Well, What's the best movie, do you think, that you saw at the Oscars that year that was nominated? In uh, 97? Yeah. Jeez, uh, I would have to say Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire. Jerry Maguire, Tom That's Cruise. That's one of the best. Yeah, it was Tom awesome. Cruise. You know, show me the money. You know? Show me the money. Show That's why I say that almost every day money, when I'm talking to my wife. Yeah, yeah show me the money. Yeah. <laughs> so Anyhow, uh, well, we got a special treat. We got on the phone with us Dr. Ben Carson. Dr. Ben That's Carson. All right. Doctor? Dr. Ben Carson, thank you so much for calling in. We're just wanting to get your perspective on this whole thing. Are we getting him on the line? So when you were at the Oscars, so Hold somebody on, had a ticket Hold they on. didn't They're use, and you figured ear. it Hold out, on. and then Hello? were able to take their seat. Well, it was it Doc? was it was a uh, situation where you know I just Are walked we in. Are getting him or not? Uh, Is he online? You know, just I had walked right in. Just walked right in with a friend of mine, he, you know. And we don't as have, I walked, okay. it was like a journey that Sorry I went on. That, it was like a journey. Sorry about that, D. My apologies. We lost him. I we were trying to get him earlier, and he was obviously. I heard he's uh, flying. He's on a flight right now. He's just caught a flight. His flight okay. was delayed. Whatever. Okay. But when you okay. walked in, you, so you just get walk in the door. I mean, so there's I an empty seat that, that you just think, well, this. nobody's got that I seat. Only, I'll just sit there. I only well, asked. I, I walked in with a, a, a figure total out stranger. when his availability. You know, and, and as I went along with the, uh, you know, the uh, uh, this this voice coming in my head, you know, from God talking to me on this mm -hmm. journey, I just went with it. And uh, every time he would tell me what to do, to and I went with it, met a total stranger who became a friend, and uh, saw the entire show. Have you seen? Uh, and the governor's ball. I was have you seen ball. Oh God with uh, John Denver and George Burns? Where he's I'm not that's I'm a good movie. I have, yeah, I'm great movie. You know, uh, you know, it's so a phenomenal thing that happened. We don't have him. We don't fucking have him. Like in the movie, and well, in all three of the movies, really. Yeah. Yeah. He's been drinking. I'm really sorry. Yeah. Well, you know, people had advices. What can I say? But uh, yeah, it's a great. It was a great, great, great evening. Cinderella-like evening for me. And uh, you know, that was the, that was the year that uh, George Burns, who played actually played God, that was the year he died, 1997. So 1997. they probably had yes. some yes. sort of tribute yes. at the awards. Do you yes. remember? Yes. yes. Well, they didn't have a tribute to George Burns. I don't think that year. But uh, you know, of course, they do the memoriam every year. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, you know. But I've, I've had an opportunity to work with, you know, the Oscars as a stand-in. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, a little trivia for you. I'm the only guy or girl that has received four Oscars. You uh, have four Oscars. In one day. And what? I work as a stand-in, you know, as the Oscars, at, at the Oscars. And I Sorry, received buddy. an award from uh, Martin Scorsese, Cameron Diaz. Uh, Tim, he's got four <laughs> Oscars. That I four? received in the rehearsal. 
Okay. So, 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 you, so they were the real the Oscars, or was it just a brick? Well, I, I received four Oscars now that I work for the Oscars. I Honors. do stand-in. Oh, you do stand-in. You do stand-in. We're doing the rehearsals, and I received an Oscar from uh, Harrison Ford, Martin Scorsese, Cameron So stand-by. Pause. So was it real Best Martin Scorsese? Best cinematographer. Let's it? give a big round of applause to Emmanuel Lubezki from The Relevant. Yes. So was it yes. the real Martin Scorsese and a real Oscar? Yes. I didn't see, yes. I saw yes. so uh, they, clips they, from the movie. It looked beautiful. So like they, they don't have white. a stand-in for movie. Scorsese or, or Leonardo fake DiCaprio, Oscar congratulations work. to well, you. You really did it this time. But I was, you know, in that category. You Thank know. you, Le Leonardo. You moved around the... as a stand-in. And I was able to. Leonardo you know, DiCaprio. Actual, so you were receiving it from the Scorsese stand-in or actually? The actual Scorsese, yeah. Wow. Harrison Ford, even as I received it walking off the stage, you know, I just made a comment. And I was like, hey, man, you know, it's a great day. I just received an Oscar from Harrison Ford. He goes to me and says, oh, don't let it go to your head, kid, you know. So, that uh, sounds should like there be different say. Oscars? So he's known, should, should Harrison there, Ford's known is, for having What's going to put this whole situation to bed with the blacks and the whites? Because I don't want to see this, I don't want to see this discord anymore. I think, I personally, I'll do a 60-second soapbox here. Can I do that? Go Can for we it. we set up for yeah. that? Go for it, man. Can I do a 60-second soapbox? And this it's is not a, really a routine. I this is an interview that we're Part saying. of the show I used to do a 60-second soapbox. Give me camera one. Camera one. I got breaking news, everybody. Breaking news. Can I get can I get my close up? Because I got to talk to everybody at home. <coughs> I got to talk to everybody at home, folks. I'm not. I'm colorblind. I said it earlier. And if we want to put this to bed, one of these one of the ways we can do it is through honoring. Uh, we se separate every separate the Oscars so you can have white Oscars, you can have black Oscars, you can have. Mexican Oscars, Chinese Oscars, and you find out if that's the way it's going to go, that's, that, that might be better. But I'd rather everybody make it equal. We have equal rights for everybody. But if, if people want to nitpick about stuff, well, that's the one way of doing it. Or you have an honorary Oscars for blacks and whites and whoever. I think they should have monthly Oscars because every month in America alone, 3,000 movies come out. Right, and if you do, and people love watching the Oscars, it's very highly rated. We actually piggyback on I the know, Oscar but, ratings yeah, but, for our show. So I'm saying, if you have an end of the month Oscars every month, you got 12 different award shows. The, the companies that make the actual Oscars are they love it. It generates income for them. It's a chance to honor all these great actors, directors. I'm not. It doesn't. You don't have to break it out by Chinese uh, actors or whatever. It could be open to everyone. But so you don't want more Oscars. I want 12 a year. I want a monthly a Oscar. And then you have at the end of the year, maybe D, you what have are you a, signing a, up for? 12 a year? I'd say maybe uh, twice a year. Twice, twice a year. year. Biannual. Flip flop. You know, make yeah. it in New York one year and make it in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. you know, New York, LA flip flop. Movies are made right. everywhere now. A lot of times right. uh, they make them. Uh, well, I did a movie called Ant Mark? Man that you've probably seen. And you that want was shot in Atlanta, on this? Georgia. Just gonna, Atlanta. And yeah. so, you know, you could have an Atlanta think, uh, Oscars. Hold on now. What do you think, Mark? I think uh, uh, 12 a year, you know, 12 a year, maybe one year, and then two the next, and you, you alternate between them. And uh, I just want to say I'm also colorblind. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. Do we have Ben? We have Dr. Carson? Somebody just told me we have him on the line. Doctor? He's not calling. So did you get no, did you get thrown in jail or what? How did the end? Because if you sneak into something like this, if I was going to sneak into hold on, if I was going to sneak into the Oscars, I'd show up about a week early, in, it's at the Colby Theater. And you get couldn't in sneak the in wearing that and get in the toilets, and sneak in the sewage, you know, and pop up. I don't know, I'd get I'd get small or something. Uh, uh, like Ant Man, you see, I seen Ant Man. You get small and you get in the sewage and you pop up and get big again. And then you sit down wherever you want. Well, I think that's a great fantasy, but the Oscars has better security than most presidents. They wouldn't know if you I know. came out of the toilet, <laughs> right? If I was a little small as like an ant. If you were to do that, you would have a chance. But that's let me true. tell you, they had wands and everything when you went oh, in. Oh, really? It's like Star Wars. You know, it's like they had all this high tech security where you Star put your hand Wars, on yeah. this and. 
you know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot of security and helicopters well, all in the air and stuff. Yeah. So. so you held the statue. How heavy is the actual statue? Is it like the, like, it's about maybe like a baby, like about a, five pounds. And it's not made out of gold. It's got an alloy. You know? It's an alloy. So, yeah, it's an alloy. It's not I knew gold. That. Yeah. And you know, and they can't, you can't give sell the solid Oscar. gold. They can't. That's you the can't thing sell is, it. yeah. Well, you, you have to sell it back to the academy gold. for like is there 10, a tracking 10 bucks. device in it so that if you if it gets stolen or something, that they can find it or well, if you the try thing to with, sell the, it. If you're gonna get if you're gonna get technical about the value of gold, you're getting into a whole other subject. Because the devaluation of gold happens because the elite want the price of gold to fall because they want to control the monetary policy, right, correct? Right, right. So right. what is, is it gold they're getting? No, it's some crap, you know? Not it's with no, Oscars, yeah. it's real gold. No, it's not, yeah. trust me. The devaluation has begun and folks well, that, better yeah, the start outside collecting of it, the whole, your valuables. It's not, a, it's not solid gold, but the outside is gonna the be real gold. Because it's a very thing. prestigious award. Right, absolutely. I like to just uh, get through some movies that we think got overlooked this year. Uh, the Cobbler. Did you get a chance to see The Cobbler this year, starring the great Adam Sandler? It was not a comedy. I didn't funny see that movie. And The Intern. I like Adam Sandler, though. The Intern. Yeah, Robert De Niro. The Intern, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Did you work with movie? him at the, with a stand-in stuff with Robert De Niro? Uh, no, I didn't work stand-in this year. How about The Maze Runner with The Scorch Trials? Uh, then that was good. Yeah. That was, that was yeah. a really good film. Ted 2? Ted 2. Uh, I saw Ted 2. <laughs> I did see that one. Uh, How many bags of popcorn? Uh, rings. You get to see rings? Rings, no. Uh, T Garden, Galecki, Jonathan Galecki. Galecki no. was in that movie. It's pretty good. We gave it a five bagger. We gave it five bags of mm -hmm. popcorn and burnt with Brad Cooper. Yeah. You get a chance to see that one? Love Brad Cooper, but yeah. I didn't get to see I that. love Brad and I love yeah, Sienna yeah. Miller, so that's cool. That's great, yeah. yeah. And uh, So now your work is sort of like an ambassador for the Oscars now, going around and telling your story and. Well, I branded, you know, the book, and I. Mm -hmm. you know, how do people the get the book? You get hey, on my the, website, or how are we doing? I that? have a website, dthompson.com, dthompson.com. D and period, D E E. D E E. T H O M P S O N. And Amazon.com, you know, is where you can get the book. And Let's set up a Twitter poll right now. So. How many people are going to buy D Thompson's book tonight? There you go. There you go. Thanks, guys. Thank thousand you. or ten thousand or whatever it is. Yeah, that'd be great. You know. <laughs> How much is the book? I the book normally runs for, right now, it, it fluctuates, you know. It came out in 2009, it so it's probably right about uh, 10 bucks now. Okay. Yeah, it's about 10 bucks. Uh, but uh, it started out like So it's based on other books' prices, or how? Well, you know, as books, as, a, you know, as time goes on, the book loses its value somewhat, you know, with Amazon.com. So they have like a used book sale, you know. Mm. So, uh, but it's around, you could probably can get it for about 8, 10 bucks, mm -hmm. you know. And it's an ebook also, so you can download it for you know people with the, the techies. All right, well, thank you so I don't, much. I don't, I don't like thank that. You, I prefer thank the you. real. Well, thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much, man. Ow. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank Thanks. You. I want to find thank out more. You. I want to do this. I want to try doing this. Okay. Well, you know, good Unless luck. I man. might get invited. Yeah. You know, from my acting, I might get nominated. <clears throat> right, thank, thank you very good much. Luck. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. All right. See you, D. He hit my, I gave her a hug and he went in and hit my chin. Oh. Right up now, we got, as we promised earlier, Mark's, are you ready for this? Are you in costume for this? Salute to the Golden Oscars from years gone by. Mr. Marx Brothers, Gr Marx Brothers, jo uh, Grouchy Marx. Groucho Marx. All right, Mark. Groucho, well known for saying Hi, everybody. Things. I'm Groucho Marx. Welcome. I just want to say a handful of things. Thank you to Tim Heidecker for letting me be on the show tonight. Ah, uh, one of the things that you should probably know is Sounds that... Sounds like W.C. Fields. Is that my buddy uh, and my brothers and I, we started way back when in vaudeville. And my wife, my mom, Minnie, put us on and we were a singing group at first. But then we stopped. And then we stopped and we went on and we became great. I lost all my money in the Great Depression, lost $800,000. That was a big amount back then. It's a big amount still today, really, if, when you think about it. I, uh, I lived longest of all my brothers. I, I ended up dying in 1977. 
and uh, I was dating a woman named Erin Fleming at the time. She had a little bit of mental issues towards the end. Ended up a bag lady in California. Elliot Gould would come over to my house because he was friends with uh, Aaron Fleming at the time. And uh, Sally Kellerman. Doing W.C. Field, snap, come on. I asked you to get ready for this and prepare for it. Do grouchy, do groucho. Do his uh, jokes, his one-liners, or walk one away. One of the ways I got, one, one of the ways I got my name groucho is because I would carry a grouch bag around my neck that carried all my money. No! Stop, cut that. All right, thank you. All right, what's next? We're gonna go to a break, and we come back, we're gonna talk to Greg Turkington about what's next for Peter Jackson. Look forward to hearing from Greg about that. You got that plan? That wasn't a second. How's the chili? How's the chili? It's not chili. It's um. Sorry. Three bean, three alarm. Stew. A chowder. Chowder. Is, three bean, three. How's everything going over there, Ch uh, Chaplin? Um. Huh? It's going great. Okay. Going What's great. The, it's it's yeah. chowder, right? Uh, this is chowder that you're Looks eating. Looks like yes. chili. Uh, you're not allowed no, to say have, chilly or something. We have uh, three bean chowder. And uh, three bean, three alarm chowder, and three bean. Is it spicy? Um, it's, it's pretty spicy. It's pretty spicy. Oh, it tastes like chili. It's chili, isn't it, Joe? Uh, you know, Joe? Uh, you know. Can we ask, get, get your opinion on that? Is it chili pretty close, or not? Pretty close to, to, to chili, I All think. All right, well, yeah. what's the difference? Let's get a Twitter poll going there. What's the difference between chili and chowder when you got beans It's the main ingredient? That'd be interesting to see what people think on that. What is the difference? Between chili and chowder, yeah, nothing. Let's uh, not, choices should wanna, be. I don't want to anger the chaplains guys because they're paying for all yeah. this. No, and I'm just saying it seems a little strange. We can't call no, it chili. Have, chaplain's chili have, uh, makes sense. You understand how Chaplain's chili makes sense as a name? Yeah, but this is soup. You understand that subs? It's not chaplains. I know, but what is the? I mean, change the name of the whole damn thing. Why keep Chaplain's if it's first of all it's not the guy that you work with anymore, and you got alliteration with Chaplain's chili? That makes sense. But Chaplain's soups and subs sucks. Did you see A Walk in the Woods this year with no. uh, Nick Nolte, Robert Redford, and yes. Emma Thompson? I saw that. Very good movie. Congratulations to Robert Redford and Nick uh, Nolte for that great movie. Anyway, Greg, I want to ask you, what is, because you're uh, obsessed with the, you're a Hobbit head, are you not? Definitely a Hobbit head, and I've been flying the Hobbit flag for many years now, and uh, it's actually kind My of prediction. cool. There's a community of fellow Hobbit Heads that through doing this show I've my, met and traded Hobbit memorabilia and stories, and it's a really great community. Where's Kyle? Where's Kyle? Where's Kyle? Okay, I'll wait for Kyle. Um, can you give us a peek into what's next for uh, Peter Jackson. What is next for Peter Jackson? What's he going to do next? You talked last year about Cimmerillion. Cimmerillion is a book that my sources tell me that he and his team have acquired the rights to make into a series of movies. Nothing has been announced yet, uh, but I believe he's in pre-production for that. They're doing okay. casting, location scouting. They'll Let's probably check shoot in. It Let's, in New I Zealand, put this segment together. Uh, as they did with the Hobbit movies I put and Lord this... of the Ring, the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy, too. I put this New segment Zealand. together. Let's take a look at what's up with Peter Jackson. Where is this? Let's take a look at the what mistakes is, that Peter the... Jackson made when he made The Hobbit. Thank you. Thank you for showing. With little or possibly no preparation, we jumped straight into doing previs for The Hobbit. And a very tired Peter was coming in every day trying to put together the story. I spent so much of The Hobbit feeling like I was not on top of it. Then Peter gets sick, he's gone for six weeks. Uh,
and action. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. I mean, there's no magical answer for it, and that's the truth of it. When you're going onto a set, very complicated, and you're winging it, you've got nothing to go on, no storyboards, no previs, you've got these massively complicated scenes, and you're just making it up there and then on the spot. I was making it up as I went along and winging it. I was winging it. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. We would just tell the crew to take an extended lunch for an hour or so because I wanted to just get my head completely clear because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Hey everybody, welcome back. I got a big surprise for you, a new segment that we put together just for the song. So, what'd you think of that? Seems like that guy's got a lot of figuring out. Yeah, well, that's all manipulated footage for no, there's no reason to do that Joe? on this show. What do you think? You know oh, that the viewers, Peter the viewers Jackson's of the show head, are huh? Hobbit people. Why, well, why you would do something like that, I don't know. Yeah, until I saw that clip, yeah. the, the trouble he had. All right, now this is something we want to do for everybody watching out there. We want to do really? something special for y'all. We want to do um, a little segment called On Cinema, On Songwriters. It has and nothing to do with cinema. All right, right, shut up. This is my opportunity to talk to you guys about where songwriting, how songwriting works, where it comes from. And uh, hold on. Check T. Okay. This has nothing to do with the uh, Oscars, especially not That's on true. cinema. Yeah. Now, this is a rare treat for everybody watching. No. I'm going to do a uh, uh, cover or a acoustic version of Empty Bottle. So. Oh, man. This is my new segment on cinema, on songwriters. So this is, um... How are we doing? Oh, we don't need this. Hold on. We don't need the smoke for the acoustic stuff. It doesn't make sense. It's not a rock. It's not. We cut on the smoke, please. Okay. Manuel, you don't call it out. But you don't do the call out. I do it. Hanging there, hanging the dark side, and I'm down the road, in the 
that's um, thank you. No, was, well, it's an empty bottle, and um, you know, um, it's sort of one of those songs that starts on the acoustic guitar, and then you get the band in, you get the sort of production value of Axiom coming in yeah. with the, mute, the drums. He programmed a lot of the drums, and. Uh, I did some of this in manual, so solo done a lot of that stuff. And it works different, it's a different song when you put it on acoustic guitar. So. with more Oscar special with Dakar. Thanks, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to... Thank you very much, by the way, for all the wonderful messages I'm getting online. People are... Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for the wonderful messages you're getting I'm getting about uh, that on cinema, on songwriters, and thanks to Dakar for showing up and uh, giving it their best. Um, everyone's like, I didn't know you played lead on the, some of the songs. Well, I play lead. Sometimes you leave the lead guitar to Manuel for the solos and everything, but I do love lead, lead guitar. Anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is Greg Turkington's latest segment. I haven't seen what he's up to. Um, and he's going to be doing a segment called Visit. What is the segment, Greg? What are we doing? It's a visit to Bondland. It's a tribute to visit to the Bondland anniversary of the James Bond movies. Oh, uh, and a hold on before you do that. To I want to just remind everybody we're waiting on DNA results. How's DNA? What happened to TV here? Someone's got. To come on in. Turn it on. People are freaked. People are really freaked about it. Actually, just someone got. Doctor, how's the DNA test coming along? Dr. San is working hard. I know he's got those samples. It's not something that happens instantly. He's got to put it in a different, couple different dyes and uh, solutions and everything. And soon he's going to find out what, who this. Uh, starting to sweat over there, J Mr. James Dean. I said, are you starting to sweat over there? I can't wait to find out that you're a fraud. <laughs> you might you're, be surprised. You're a joke. He was telling me a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff with Rebel Without a Car. All right, well, Joe, you stay out of it, all right? I don't want you starting to take a side here. I'm just saying. I, well, why don't we let science say, start saying, Joe? Well, all right. All right? I'm, be, I'm, I'm beginning to be a believer, though. Yeah, yeah, well, no one cares. Okay. No one cares. But I'm telling you, sir, whatever your name is. Yes. Joe. Yes. Not Joe Estevez. Uh, Ralph. Ralph, John, Peter, Prick. It's going to come tonight that we find out that you have been lying to Greg. You've been lying to everybody that watches. And your day of reckoning is coming, friend. What if we find out that you... I'm going to push you down to the ground. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to push you down to the ground. I'm going to step on... You and your, I'm going to step right on time. I don't care how old you are. Oh. Believe me, you don't intimidate what me. What if I just fly away? With oh, me? yeah, you'll fly away. All right. I'm done with him. But try, we'll find out. Don't Science worry, will tell Jimmy. us. Don't Dr. Worry. San is my yeah. god, and he will tell us I what's going on. All right, Greg. Intelligent land intelligent. a bond. Take it away. Give me the land of Bond. It's a tribute to James Bond. What? 
it's, it's, it's look in the camera and say what the hell's going on. Everyone's I'm confused. Not supposed to look in the camera. No, look in the camera and explain the damn it's segment. A, it's a tribute to 50 years of Say it started again. It's a tribute to 50 years of James Bond. Supposed to be. Well, you're not supposed to be barging in. No, I'm like asking a you to explain Hall. to the audience what the segment is. It's 50 years of Jane's Bond. It's not. So say it's that. It's not two hours of your rageaholism no, and I'm, alcoholism and horrible music. I'm asking you to explain to the audience that's patiently watching this, wondering what the hell's going on. It's a tribute to all the Bond movies. Well, to then all say that. 35 Bond say movies. Say that. Well, you say don't that. need to say it. You see it because you see the clips from the movies behind me. Well, but you're not saying anything. Just because there's Bond music. Okay, where if are we? If you'd stop talking. Then we could hear the music. Where are we? Where, Where are you? Just explain the bit. I'm in the scenes. Okay, I'm in, the, the, in the locations that the Bond movies were shot in. OK, where? Where? God. Just explain sure. where you are, because nobody knows what's going on. I was in the, in the, the uh, deep sea from Thunderball a minute ago when you were having one of your rage tantrums. Okay, then Thunderball. explain that. For your eyes only. Okay. And Goldfinger. Okay. Next. It's, I don't need prompting. I don't need your prompting to well, do this. Well, it's the bits dying. The routine's dying. You, I asked you to come in and figure this out. You spent all this time on this surprise that I'm not looking forward to. Nobody is. They're looking and forward to it more than they're looking forward to. You didn't put any energy into a this. A bunch more of your awful music. All right, music thank you very much. Likes. Let's hear it for Greg and Turkington. The polls, and his the polls Bond are coming tribute. in for another your music, and they're Bond, not good. Another, the polls are really bad why for Bond your music. Sucks. Oh yeah, keep shooting. Good luck. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you ruined the segment because the I segment didn't ruin was the good. segment. You want another shot at it? You want another shot at it? Well, no, because you'll do the same thing right, that take you it do. From the top. Ladies and gentlemen, you shouldn't I be do hosting apologize. this show until you we had stop some and you shut get up. drinking I'm gonna, under control. I'm not drinking anything. I had Diet Coke. And the Coke, band are nice Coke. enough guys, but they also don't belong here. OK, let's give you another shot. They don't know okay? anything I'm about I'm a forgiving movies. guy. I want to make everybody feel good. This is a great night. It's Oscar night. I mean, for, all, for Christ's sake, it is just, no, don't do that. Come on. Let's give it one more shot, OK? Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Turkington's Visit to the land of Bond. I'm not doing it because you're just going to come and scream no. over it. All right. You already I... ruined it, and also the suspense is ruined because people already saw the visuals the first time, except with your insane rage a -holism no, over the whole thing. Greg, calm down. Nobody's here. To, we're not enemies. We're friends. You Tell that to Mark. Excuse me? Tell that to Mark. I will tell that to Mark. I'll tell the, I'll tell well, exactly I don't think what he I said to you. Well, he considers you his friend. Hmm? I do consider Mark and I are in good. Mark and I are in a good place. Well, there's some Here. visual evidence that that's not true. That's not. That's that's hearsay, and that's very irresponsible. And you're getting close to being in big trouble with me. Now I'm asking you one more time. Do you want to try this segment again? Yeah, I'd like to try it if you go outside, so okay. you're not here to I, ruin ladies it. Ladies and gentlemen, camera one. The and, floor and is yours, the Greg. Welcome to. Too so that we can discuss movies because I, we are talking movies. Nobody has Ladies gotten any information Greg about Turkington's, what movies are uh, winning. Land of Bond. But the, it's already ruined because we already played you. Uh, ugh, God, you already ruined the segment, Tim. He's already wrecked it. Yeah. 
Sigma Phi. Thank you, everybody. Thanks to Greg Turkington. Land of Bond. Now, it was bet. I mean, uh, yeah. Oh. Put the gun away, please. Um, I would like to address the elephant in the room. <laughs> That's what you did during okay. my segment. So. No, 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 no. Let's um, let's just bring it down a little bit here. Why don't you go out and get something to eat or something, okay? Please. I apologize. Was, let's reset. Can we reset? Reset the energy in the room. Like I said, I apologize. I didn't walk out when you're doing all your music and start no, well, bellowing that's during, not what the, I hear. during the songs. Please, can I just, it would have helped can I, the I have songs, something very sensitive to it. talk about. I want to talk about the passing of my own son, Tom Cruise Jr. Are you going to be respectful for that or not? Now, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. Dr. Sam. No, no, we're not talking about... I'm, you shut up! You go over there and get yourself a sub or some soup or chowder or whatever it is, because I have some very personal shit to talk about. If you interrupt me again, I swear to God, you will be paying for it for a long time. Like okay. Mark did. Yes. Calm down. Greg, get some soup in you. He hasn't eaten. He's been very stressed about his finale. Can't wait to see it. It's supposed to be very good. Now, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. It's been, it's been six weeks. What is that song? Dude? You know it. One week since it, it's been Bare Naked Ladies. Um, no, but it's been a tough couple of months, six months or so since we lost the little TCJR, Tom Cruise Jr. Um, and thank God for all your sympathies and everything that you guys sent my way. It's really incredible. Um, and I want to acknowledge somebody here tonight who's been with me, my rock, not you, Axiom. I mean, uh, he is my rock, but I want to bring out a um, Ayaka. So let's bring her out. So, uh, thank you very much, sweetheart, my wife. And thank you for being here. She's such a supportive wife. Uh, thank you. And let's give a big round of applause. Um, you know, I, uh, I had people telling me whether or not I should even bring this up. Everyone begged me to just let it go and move on. And I said, that's not who I am. It's not what I want to be about. And for a while now, for the longest time, I thought, what can I do? How can I make this up to you? How can I make us get some closure? How can I find a way to say his passing meant something? You know, because it was so horrifying and upsetting. And I... Um, I had this idea, and I hope it's a good one. I hope you understand. I haven't told you. You, you. you don't know what's coming. I haven't told you what's about to happen. I haven't told anybody, but I've been working with a group of people, a really special group of people uh, in the entertainment industry, and they have, for tonight, taking a diet, Coke. Yeah, something from somebody. Maybe from you. They have for tonight um, brought our son back. They've brought Tom back. Yeah. And um, it's, it is, um, it's, it's very heavy. It's, it's like I've been dealing with this and making it, making it so it works, but it's, it's the Tom that we want, wanted him to be, you know? He is all grown up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's turned into such a cool kid. And, um, geez, I feel like I'm gonna catch hell for this, you know? But I felt like I needed to do it. I needed to say, see him, and I needed to say, I love you. 
And I needed him to be, to know that we're okay. You know? So I want to bring him out. I want to bring out my, our son, Tom Cruise Jr. And let's bring him out. Can we bring him out? Thank you, Father. It's so great to be here with you and Mom again. Well, you know, um, okay. um, you know, we missed you so much, son. We missed you so much. Don't be sad. I've had a great life. You two are the best parents. I grew up to be healthy, handsome, and successful as an actor and model. Oh, that's awesome, man. You know, we, I know I'm speaking for you, Ayaka, but we are so proud of you. We are so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. It's only because you have been such an influential role model for me. I love you. You're the best dad. If I could give one message to the world from my grave, it would be, don't vaccinate. It's so dangerous and deadly. Great. Well, thank you, son. Thanks, Tom Cruise, Jr., for coming by. And what do you think? Um, how did that make you feel? A um, bit of closure? And... Sure. Yeah. Okay. You want to take some time with that? Or... Okay. Is there, are we okay? Are we good? Yes. Okay. I thought that was good. It was healthy. Take your I'm wishing, uh, wishing we could stick around longer, you know? But it's not cheap, that process. That was, that was pretty intense. Pretty intense for me. I want to take a break, but... Um, I asked for a Diet Coke 10 minutes ago. Thank you very much. <clears throat> uh, where's Greg? Let's bring him back. I got some big news. Gre Greg? Did you get to see Tom before he left? Or? Yeah. Um, little backstory: When Tom passed, you had the foresight of suggesting about a week or so before he passed to get um, some life insurance on him because of the condition he was in. And this is a lot of info, but um, the silver lining with everything with him, and as you know, the silver lining of his passing, which was so brutal and hard for us, was uh, a little bit of cash, you know, a, little, like, a lot of bit of cash, a lot of, bit, a lot of money came our way because of that. And certain issues with the pharmaceutical companies and everything also sweetened the pot. But um, it's, it's just, you know, it's a bittersweet sort of thing. So tonight, and I didn't even, I didn't even uh, prompt this earlier when I was talking, because this is sort of the big story of the night. Um, Ayaka and I have started the Tom Cruise Memorial Arts Fund. Okay. And it's the Tom Cruise Memorial Arts Fund. And that's in his memory. So to give to students and things? Or? We give to projects that we determine meet certain criteria of creativity and patriotism and love of country. And um, tonight is, is uh, much like, you know, the Oscars do the Irving Thalberg Award and everything. We're gonna mm -hmm. do the first annual Tom Cruise Jr. Memorial Arts Fund presentation. And- the Filmmakers and like it's young, a, young Yes, young we have a, a wonderful, it's our first. Cause he loved movie. He, he loved, loved acting, movies, movies and he was and great. I saw him in uh, Decker versus Dracula. One of the highlights of that was Tom Cruise Jr. I thought he did great. a terrific job. And, and I have the outtakes too. So tonight, and uh, tonight we have the honor, I have the honor of presenting the first annual, do you want to come out for this or? 
it might be nice if you come out for this because it is our, it is, you know, I'm locked in with you with this money and stuff. Um, the first annual, you want to present it to, we have the, the plaque here. The first annual Tom Cruise Jr. Memorial Arts Fund. And it says presented to the project that best exemplifies Tom Cruise Heidegger's passion for the arts and dedication to conservative principles and family values. And here we go. This is the first, the award goes to, and this is impartial. We all talk about this. And it goes to Decker. And it goes to Decker. That's soon. People go, what do you mean Decker? It's, it's not listen, to car, though. No, 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 no. The Decker the series? The we are, I talked about this a little bit, we are going to pick up the ashes and the remains and the rubble of Decker versus Dracula, which destroyed the franchise of Decker, the, oh. and we oh. are going to rebuild. We are going to, come here. We're going to rebuild the Decker franchise. You understand that? And I'm asking you for your help. I'm asking for everybody's help. to finish what, what no, we're we not, started. No, 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 no. We're starting fresh. And thanks to this fund, which is going to provide us with the funds we need to make Decker how soar. Much is the, how much are you... I'm not going to talk Decker? numbers, but we are back at it, folks. And that's the good news. We're, thank you. Thank you. Hold on to that. We are... Decker... De, Decker is back. And we're not doing, uh, I'm in charge again. I'm making, I'm going to be writing it. I'm going to be directing it. And we're going to bring it back to the former glory of the Hawaii seasons and the seasons past. I'd love for you to be involved in some capacity. I don't know what that is yet. But Special how many Agent, people are Special excited Agent about this? Kington. Special Agent Kington. We have, we have taken, we have, we have taken the, we have taken the passing of my son. Our son, we have taken his passing, we have turned lemonade, we have taken lemons and turned it into lemonade. His, he will not be dead, in, he has not died in vain. He is looking over us and giving us the courage to keep going and making more Decker and keep going and using that money to make the new season of Decker, it's gonna be bigger and badder than ever before. And let's hear it for that, let's hear it for Decker. Everyone is freaky. I'm looking at I'm looking at I'm looking at comments. I'm telling you, Ayaka, people can't believe that Tom came back. He is back. Let's hear it. He is back. And people a, love him. But he's people, not gonna be in the new decker. No, no, but he made his passing made Decker possible because frankly, folks, I thought it was over. I thought we had buried, not only buried TC, but Decker itself was under the under uh, the ground. Now, you and me and him and the band are going to get it back together, and we are going to take Decker back. Let's make Decker great again. Let's get the hashtag going. Let's make Decker great again. Let's make Decker Joe, great again. Joe. Joe, come here. We have President Davidson's President, in the house. President this Davidson. is awesome. Let's hear it, Joe. Are you what gonna come back? What great news, guys! This I... is awesome. I don't know what it's gonna take, I'll but I know we you, got huh? the money to do it. Joe, wow. President Davidson's wow, here. Wow, the president hey, is back. I want everybody to get wow. on Twitter and use the hashtag. Let's. Fuck off. Hey, Decker's back. For, All right. Decker is back. Let's make Decker great again. Decker versus Dracula couldn't have been worse. And it was a disaster. It spit on Decker. It spit on what Decker was about. I saw that fucking tape of you, Mark. You fucking asshole. You, you, you tried to make yourself look like Decker. And you're going to pay for it. You already paid for it in spades. But we are coming back. Let's make Decker great again. I say it. Season I want everybody in this four. fucking room. Everybody say it out loud. Let's make Decker great again. Let's, uh, make, Let's Decker make Decker great, great, great again. Let's make Decker great again. Let's make Decker great again. Get it online, and this is this is huge. All right, let's. What, what about your Kickstarter? Right? No, no the, fucking Kickstarter. Uh, Kickstarter. No, Thank you guys. Yeah, okay. What an we're honor. Out. We're back with more after this. Okay.
Checkers back. Season four. Wow. Season Who'd three. Thought, huh? Season three. Season four. Oh. Wow, that was a uh, pretty intense. I want to, you know, this next segment is also okay. going to be pretty intense. All right, well, I'll let you handle that. This is the second part of the uh, Oscar Olympics. This is your Joe? this is your big gag. I'm going to eat some Joe. dying of hunger. Come on, Joe. You got to look oh, at the cue head. sheet. So we've got uh, our foreheads. Sorry guys, you're behind. And our ant heads. Okay. And um, what's the score, by the way? Ant heads two. Ant heads one. No, they got two, two, two well, things. But though. they won the but first still segment. All right, Joe. still one. All right. Come on. Okay. All right. It will uh, be two after this, though. Okay. And um, the Fantastic Four and the Ant heads. All right. Now, the rules here are very, very simple. This is uh, called the uh, coding system. Now, it's great. It's the. Talk the it's the. It's yeah. Basically, we're having them code the movies as they're coded at the Victorville Film Archives. Yeah. Um, exactly the same. We've brought a box of uncoded movies from the archives because I do have quite a surplus of films, duplicates, and things like it's that. It's your own special coding system, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's I developed it. So yeah. It's, yeah. It's now known as a Victorville coding system. Yeah. Yeah. And so each team is getting the red tape. Um, they have a roll of tape. And you guys, you just go for it. You got two minutes. Pull any movies you want out. You need to tape them properly, not sloppily, as it would be at the at, at, at the archives. Make sure the tape is on all the way around the the, the uh, case. Yeah. And then yeah. you need to label it using the actual coding system, which is of course the first letter of the movie title. First letter of the movie title. How many bags of popcorn? That how it many was rated? How many bags of popcorn it was rated? That, that, that Greg gave the, the, the rating to. And then the, the, um, the first digit from the decade that the movie was released. Uh, and then the first decade name, that was, it was, yeah. The okay. first letter of the director's last name. La last, last letter of the director's last name. No, it's the first letter of the director's last, last name. Last letter of the. Well, the card isn't, that's not the way it is. It's the first letter of the director's name. And then you have the shelf number, which in this case, uh, the shelf numbers will be one for the ant heads and four for the foreheads, and then the tape number you'll label them consecutively one through fifteen. Well, I okay. Uh, or as high as you go. I mean, you may get more than fifteen yeah. coded yeah. in two minutes. I can personally yeah. it's do. It's real, real simple. I can personally real do about simple. a dozen in two minutes when I'm coding in yeah. Victorville. So that's yeah. going to be the bar to set. So okay. So it's the last bar. letter then, or the first letter then, not what the cue card says. It says here the last. Well, letter. I mean that's that's just okay. uh, yeah no it's yeah. the la the 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 first letter of the director's last name. Yeah yeah okay all right uh, I I think all the rules. And are if pretty... Tim's gonna throw sandwiches at the no ant, I'm not at yeah. ant heads I'm eating a sandwich. Then I think we'll Mine's award up. them a bonus point because yeah. it's obviously obviously you can't do your job if if. A rageaholic is throwing. Well, food you guys didn't get like four. A baby. I was a having a baby, you guys did get four bags of popcorn, but you did get four submarine sandwiches. So you know, all was not lost. This is all good right, food. I'll leave it to you. You've got the clock chilly. and okay, the whistle. Right, it's very simple. You guys, any questions what? about the rules? This no. is where you got to put those tapes, though. All right, tapes are in here. No tapes. Put the. You have to put the After tapes the, there. You know. Well, don't tell me what to okay. do. Okay. All right. Any put questions? Put the tapes in here. Yeah. Okay. The tapes go back here. All right, uh, and on my whistle, just have at I'll it. I'll get out of wait. your way. All right, wait for the whistle. Here we go. The whistle's kind of lame. Here we go. <laughs> wow. That's... A little incoming there to make it a little, little interesting, huh? Is he allowed to take off his gloves? Uh-oh. Look out. I'm getting out of the way here for some reason. How you kids doing there? The Fantastic Four. Uh, okay, all right, okay. The books? Okay. All right. Listen, that's just, that's just, uh, uh, you know, make it a little difficult for you. That's okay. Yeah. All right. How's the time on this, guys?
How you guys doing here over here? Fantastic Four is all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and 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 Ant and the Ant people. I know you guys are under some some strain here, but don't <laughs> you get this sausage on your back here? Let me get this back. It's okay. You guys are doing great. Yeah, just busy, busy as a bee there. That's you. You're doing terrific. Terrific. Okay, we got to get some urgency in this, folks, because. Uh, uh, okay, how are we doing here? All right, left-handed fella. Okay, we're doing good. All right. Okay, we got the first one up. All right. In the, in the, okay, and we got one up here. All right. We're tied one to one. Fantastic for the, uh, the ant people and, uh, okay, yes. Not what I'm supposed to do. Oh, four well, this game, four heads. Oh, four heads. Oh, four heads. You know I'm sorry. Four heads. And he's just and then we're the game. Hey, with you. hey, guys. I'm gonna hey, hey, guys. Come on. Huh? Come on. Where man. you going? Oh, it's Where you going, Mark? He told me to. Hey, guys. That's all right. Stay out of here, guys. Stay out of here. That's all right. Stay out of here. Stay out of the game. Where you going? They're friends. Over you're not done here. You're doing friends. Hey, you're doing Harpo. You're not going anywhere. I know I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, he's trying to tell me how to direct hey, my yeah, show. Right, all right, all right. Hey, we're tight. He's trying we're to tell me how to here. direct my show. Okay, do it well. Now we're winding down here to, what do you say, the last stay away uh, from him. 40 stay, seconds. Stay away from uh, him. Last 40 seconds. Just stay away from him. The sandwiches, doesn't he? Okay, yeah, all Mark's right. Mark's not directing the show. All right, we're winding down the last uh, 30 seconds now. 30 seconds, all right, three to two. Well, okay, uh, uh, Ant Heads are leading. Way. And, and it's very difficult over there, but he's hanging in. All right, Ant Heads, three. Uh, uh, four Heads, two. Four Heads, three. We are tied. We got 15 seconds here. Okay, I'm, I'm, we're, the we're, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, time out, time out, right, time, time out. out. Time Fantastic out. Four is the winner, I declare it. Stand up, tied 1-1. No. Because you have to check the tapes to make sure they're labeled. No, right. they're fine. I checked them myself. No, All right, because you haven't looked at the coding. Come on, it's I, good. I don't know. Yeah, that's We're good. Right no, that's all right, Joe. No, no because just, I have just, to check here. That, that's fine. Line. So just call it, call it. Oh, oh, four, four, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Winners over here. Right no, here. no, 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 no. No, because I have to check the coding to make sure it's coded Greg. properly. Sit uh, down. That's okay, there, there's some technical problems with this about the code. Can you do that pretty quick then? Uh, um, yeah, yeah, check it out. Okay, okay. check it All out. Right. You got 10 seconds. Well, yeah. these, which which team did these? Because the tape is too high. The tape's supposed to be at the bottom. No, oh, that's, you, like that. you know, that's a minor point. All right, it's tied 1-1. One, one. We'll no, be right. yeah. because they have to check the coding to make sure that they got the codes right. You know. Yep, this is the one. You got it right. You guys got it right. Fantastic that's four. All right. That's, that's for it. All right. Take oh, the that. wait a minute. That's sir. So these guys this should one be right? the winner then. Huh? Is that one right? That one's wrong. Sorry, guys. No, this is the um, only one that's right so far. You got to start because doing your job here. Because the tapes are right. Look, I control this. You the are in charge. Right You're the referee. Place. And the codes are right. No. I mean, it's a little high, I think. Okay, yeah, it's a little high. Let's give a big round of applause no, to no, Fan no, no, Force. No, no, no. Right, thank you. We'll be right back with no, more they didn't, on cinema they didn't Oscar right. special. They yeah, they did. Get it right. Yeah, well, they did. Because the tapes, Believe me, all they of did. their tapes are too high. Believe me, they did. Tim, this they didn't even finish the code. There's only six digits on this. That's not good. That this one. Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're enjoying the show. We've had a lot of fun here. It's been a lot of, uh, we got a tie game at the Oscar Olympics. We got Ant-Man got one point, and uh, Fantastic Four has got one point. So, uh, you having fun? Uh, what, what, what the, what's your impressions of the Oscars right now? Have you had a chance to check in with that? Yeah, I mean, you know, they, they get it wrong sometimes, but for the most part, if a movie wins an Oscar, it's such a tough process to get to that stage that you have to trust the integrity of the system. Yeah? yeah. Well, I mean, uh, do we have any results? Who's won the Oscars? Anybody knows who's won? Mad Max yeah, has Mad actually Max been winning yeah. lots of awards. Yeah. And, uh, you know, quite honestly, I think it deserves it. It was a, a great movie. 
Interesting. Well, I want to check in right now with, uh, we got some news, breaking news coming in from Dr. San, who's been at the DNA testing facility, which we have here on site. Doc, what's the deal? What, give us an update. What's happening? Well, we have the results. Hello. The test has been conclusive. Okay. And I have the results in this envelope right here. He's got here. the results in yes. the envelope. So this is big news. You're not going to tell us? We're going to, okay. We're I already gonna... know what the results are, but yeah. And big shout out to Mark Relance. Mark Relance. Le Mark Rylance for Bridge of Spies. I'm standing on a bridge of spies. Give me some of that. And sick of doing all your damn lies. Congratulations to Bridge of Spies and Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks winning big for Bridge Forrest of Spies. Gump. Forrest Gump. One of the originals. All right. Now, Doctor. What's happening? Are we going to tell? So we're waiting on the results. We, you know the results. I know, you we know the, resu I know the is, results. I know the results. He knows them right here in this envelope. Don't but. give a clue because this is. I amazing. can't believe this. This is huge. So we're going to find out. It, give me a clue. Is it James Dean or not? No, he can't say. You can't say. I'm just, I'll let you tell your audience. Uh, OK. I have, an, I have a suspicion when it is. Give me a wink if, it's, if I'm right. He's not giving me anything. Yeah, he's funny. He's smart. We should get, what's that? We got Ben, oh, okay. That's, we were, that was for the earlier Johnny segment. Depp. No, Johnny Depp is still not here. We're waiting on any update on him. Did he pull up yet? We got Johnny Depp coming by later tonight. I'm excited about that. Da, bad boy Johnny Depp. Jan, you Big promised fan. me now. Don't Big go back fan. on your promise or the next time I see you at the Rainbow Room, we're gonna tussle. John! Johnny boy! Where is he? Is he here? Is he standing, what is he in makeup? This guy, unbelievable. All right, well, we got Ben Carson on the line. Let's call in Dr. Ben. Ben, what do you got? What do you know about DNA, Ben? Dr. Ben Carson's on. Well, don't tell me he's on the line if he's not on the line. All hey, right. um, I wanted to mention something that was kind of interesting that's been on my mind and that I think is of great interest to our viewers is that the Victorville Film Archives website is now up and running. Yeah, where is that? You were and gonna talk about that. Uh, soon we're gonna open the whole, uh, the entire archives to the public so you can come in and actually screen movies, learn about movies, learn about the filing system, and uh, that's all in the future, but for now we, do, we have launched the website and it's very exciting. Okay, so hold that thought. We do have Dr. Ben Carson on the line. We do not, okay, sorry, we do not. I mean, that's, that's gotta Why be figured out. Why huh? It doesn't I, We set it up, he was gonna it. talk about, uh, he, he was gonna talk about movies, or I don't know what the, the I, I'm a big fan of his, I, he and I would have, have been. Any, uh, he doesn't know anything about movies. You, well, he knows as much as anybody else. All right, uh, there are three Marx Brothers. We've seen two of them, and apparently we've got one There's more to go. There's five Marx Brothers. No, there are three Marx Brothers, Grouchy, Groucho. Homo, or uh, Chico. Chico, we saw Chico. And, and Zeppo. Harpy. Uh, Zeppo. Uh, Zeppo's not, we're not doing Zeppo. We're not doing the smaller ones. Gummo. Gummo. And uh, the big one. Harpo. This is what we've all been waiting Groucho. for. Mr. Harpo Marks Zemo, from Mark Gummo. Broach. Mark, take it away. Everyone, I'm Harpo Marks. Uh, a lot of people, I was the Where's silent. Where's the horn? I was the silent Marx brother. Uh, I, uh, my good friend Mark Prooks calls me Goofball Marx. Um, Can we get him a horn? Don't talk during his But I, uh, really I lived a long said. time. No, I'm just asking why I he's not. I was one of the, uh, the horn, friends of Alexander Wolcott uh, at the Algonquin Round Table. Uh, here he goes again, slipping into the um, fields. I, I didn't. I was you always be, kind of a goofball she ruined the bond um, the on shows. the shows, uh, on the movies, the and uh, bond? I lived. I pause, ended up Mark. Pause. Where they're running the horn in. I'm not. I'm trying to help the. I'm trying to help the guy. I'm trying to help just watch throw it. him the horn. Well, you don't need to clean it. You don't have to talk over it. There you go. Now we're talking. I uh, I ended up moving out to. Palm Springs with my wife, and we adopted a lot of kids. My wife wasn't able to have children, um, and like so many parents that aren't, they adopt. 
Uh, and I lived out there for quite some time and had a lot of fun. Um, again, I loved playing uh, croquet with my friends, the Algonquin Roundtable folks, Alexander Wolcott. Groucho, what are you doing? But I didn't talk, and uh, a lot of people have seen me uh, on the movies, uh, and a lot of people think they've seen me talk, but I never did talk. Uh, I always played my horn, and I did a, a thing called a gookie. That's a gookie. What do you, what's your... Uh... All right, thanks, Mark, thank you. Thank you. I, I died in the, I died earlier than Harpo, or than uh, Grouchy did, Groucho did. Probably Forest Lawn. All right, Mark, thank you. That's enough of that. Oh, there's the Mark for the Marx Brothers. Let's do, I got an idea, hold on! Hold on! I got an idea you for do a poll. Zeppo marks? Mark, come here. I want to talk to you. Thank there are you. actually that's, five that's the, Marx Brothers. That's the culmination of your... <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. Thank you for your participation. Thank you for your participation on the Oscar special. I'd like to suggest a poll. You can find it at Tim Heidecker on Twitter. And the poll is, should Mark return for the fifth annual? My vote is no. We've, uh, we've I'd like to see him return to do all the fifth Marx no. Brothers, Zeppo and Gummo. We've we've squeezed every bit of juice we can out of your talents. I can do Zeppo. Can, huh? can I don't do want Zeppo. Zeppo. Can you just, Who else you got? How long would it take to get ready? I asked, put this on Twitter, and uh, people seem to respond positively to it. People want to see you do Indiana Jones. I would uh, like to the, see that. What do you think of that? I'd rather do <laughs> President Clinton. Well, no, that has nothing to do with movies. Do can you, we get a, uh, this would be cool, right? Any... Wait, hold. Can we get a, uh, on the spot, it's like Whose Line Is It Anyway? I love that uh, show. Indiana Jones? Let's do this. Take the hat off. Get him a fedora. Get him a fedora. Somebody get him a fedora. Indiana Jones. On the green screen still... with scenes from the movie. Can we take that off? Or? No, because uh, it needs to sit until I get to the clinic. All right. Get him a leather jacket and a uh, uh, fedora hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. looks like Indiana yeah. Jones. Yeah, this will be good. Okay, watch this, everybody. We're going to turn you into Indiana Jones. Let's see this. And... <laughs> All right. No, that's Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Take the, the curly hair off, too. Yeah. Well, that's even worse. No, that's not the right hat. Yeah, oh, this is good. Look at this. I love this squad we have. They're ready for anything. Uh, uh, Indiana, ladies and gentlemen, Harrison Ford. Go, he's probably at the Oscars tonight. Go to the tonight, green screen. But now he's. Uh, I'll go to the green screen. Where's that gun? Get him the gun. I had the. I used the gun in the Bond thing. I got it. I got it. All right. Go Let's get, see what they use go for get a mark. I want to see what they use for Yeah, this background. is, no one's done this before, by the way. This is Mark Proach as Indiana Jones. Mark Proach as Indiana Jones. I wonder what the background cool. of this huh? they'll use. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe that they'll That big boulder some. that was rolling. Go ahead, Mark. Snakes. Hold on, I'll direct this. Snakes. You should get that big boulder, the big rock. No, I said you go snakes. I hate snakes. I hate the no, snakes. No, but the, there's a big, there's like a scene with a big boulder that rolls. All right. That's what you need. All right. I thought Mark, you'd be a little more on. See, this is this is. He had a whip. Timmy had a whip. Tim. Greg, Tim, Timmy had a whip. I should have a whip. Well, he had a gun too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, big treat for everybody. Um, I want to welcome back to the stage a couple of great musicians. We got Axiom and Manuel, who are going to perform. Uh, what's that about? You guys ready? All right, let's kick it over to my boy. So these guys have got it made. These guys are the real deal. And this is an original song for you guys. I'm going to go take a shit. <laughs> 
the song he wrote. Hopefully, it's going to be in the next Dakar album. It's a love song dedicated dedicated to my future ex-wife because probably we're going to be soon on tour with Dakar. So you know, relationships never last. So this one's called "You're the One." Hope you guys like that. Now I realize how it feels in your heart to be. It doesn't matter how far we'd it go, things always can go wrong. Blood is sweat and tears I gave you all. You are the one, you are the one. I still the girl like you still know. You are myself pretending every day that I don't want you, that I don't need you, and every time I make the same mistake again, I think I got you, I'm sure I know you, this burning desire that tells me to go right where we first met. Blood is sweat and tears I gave you all You are the one, you are the one I still the girl like you still know You are the one, you are the one Blood is sweat and tears I gave you all That's thank, you so thank you guys, thank you, that was awesome. Thank you, that's entertainment, that's not, uh, the, I mean, when you talk about the Oscars and production value and uh, um, quality, guess what, we just beat them by about a yard, by about 10 yards, 100 yards. Um, and I predict easily in the next few years, suddenly the, 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 the uh, sea change starts happening and people are tuning into this show more than they are the Oscars themselves, and then people from the Oscars are scrambling, they're saying, what are we doing? Do we even go to that anymore? Does that even exist? And then it's like, well, what are we doing? Do we even comment on the Oscars anymore? Or we just put on a great show. Yeah. And you're part of that. I just want to say one thing. Okay. I guess the car is the real fantastic That's four. the real reason we're here. But you guys got it made, and I'd love to feature that song on my new record, the new Dakar record, Empty Bottle, if you want to sign that over my way. I'd do a, probably a good job on lead vocals, too. And we'll be back. Thanks for watching, everybody. We're having a great time here. Welcome. Happy Oscars. I've got Oscar fever. Hope you got it, too. Hashtag Oscar fever. We're following along the Oscars. Any winners? We got some winners to talk about. Joe Estevez, you got any updates on that? Uh, no. no, I don't. Okay, Sorry. fair enough. Sorry. Fair enough. I've been here all the time. I hear you. I we thought somebody do, had um... access to. Shut. Hold on. Now, a uh, couple of things coming up. We got, in a few minutes, we're going to get into our uh, third Oscar Olympics, and that's going to be exciting. You're going to start that. Also, let's hear it for Axiom and Manuel for a wonderful song. That was really kind of touching. I like Axiom actually told me after the break, after when we were on break, he says, I dedicate that to my, you dedicate that to Tom Cruise Jr. And that was honestly very moving. And that took, kind of got me back down to earth a little bit. And uh, Greg, I made a promise to you. And I said, you have a minute here to promote something that you brought with you. you I was going to do a that? special edition of Popcorn Classics. Uh, today's Popcorn Classic is... Decker versus Dracula, now out on VHS tape. And you can get this from the uh, VictorvilleFilmArchives.com. Uh, it's the entire season, 
plus the uh, unseen documentary with some of the unreleased footage uh, starring our good friend Mark as Decker and bringing a lot to the role now that the cat's out of the bag. A Decker versus Dracula, a true popcorn classic for our era. And we know that you'll love to own this in the VHS format. How much time do we have? Oh, and it features the final, final performances of Tom Cruise Heidecker Jr. So, and that's why I'm letting you do this, because he deserves that much. And I have the outtakes too, and we might do a special edition with those outtakes. In I understand. Of um, and you got your big special surprise coming up. So stick around for that, Big Greg's big Oscar finale surprise. It's going to be incredible. All I can say is that forget who wins the best picture. This is going to be your best picture is what I've got behind me. Okay, I don't know what that means. We also have big news. Uh, the results of the DNA test are coming up in a little bit. So we, we they're, they're in. Dr. San has I already know what they are. Well, Dr. San has verified him. And I promise you this, when James Dean is revealed to be a fraud, uh, we are going toe to toe, and I'm gonna—I don't care uh, what what's what everyone thinks is appropriate. But see this? Can you get a close-up of this? That is gonna sting. And I'm not—I'm left-handed, so he's got a little bit of an advantage there. But who knows? Maybe I'll switch rings. Switch it on my left hand. All right. Let's kick it over to Greg for this uh, Oscar Olympics three. This will determine who wins, whether well, it's Ant-Man or Joe. Come over here. Come on. Okay. Action. This is, the, this, is the, this is the final, right, guys? So Hold on. Wait for the they're, they're doing the whole thing here. Okay. okay. That's very good scene. I need a Diet Coke. Chili. A Diet Coke. There's it's chili tea. on Joe's car. Diet Coke, please. It's dark back there. You can't see what Joe's doing. Diet Coke, please. Uh, All right, action, okay. Joe. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, you, now, uh, you know, four heads and oh, oh. eight heads. This is a coup de grace. This is Thank it. You, this is going to get the champions. Now, we yes. have three different ways to pop popcorn, okay? And you can choose. We have the Jiffy Pop, we have the microwave, and we got the microwave. Okay. And a hot air popper. Hot, hot air popper. Hot air popper. Which is Our, my favorite, personally, for making popcorn it? at yeah, home. Yeah, yeah. And, and do we know it's the fastest, though? We don't know. You know what I mean. Uh, now, each team will compete to pop the most popcorn. Just and they will have to decide. Man, well, just a little bit. Sorry, Joe. Yeah, which method to use. A little uh, bit microwave, ice. air popper, hot plate. The first team to fill five bags wins the challenge. Now, in order to when we start, when, when I blow my whistle, Thanks, baby. Uh, you have to uh, you have to plug you have to plug them in, which is back here. Okay, so whatever. And here's the plug. And uh, you got to plug them in. Got to plug them in. And when I blow the whistle, you plug. Do you want to be the official plugger? Okay, you want to be the official plugger? Okay, you're the you're the ant, uh, ant man and you're the forehead plugger. Okay, well now are we ready to go, guys? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. When I blow the whip, excuse me. No, you can pop. You can do them all at once. You can do whatever you want, but whoever fills the five bags first wins. So it's up to you. You could go crazy with the microwave popcorn yeah. or maybe the hot air. But now where are those five bags? Oh, but don't burn okay. yourself, oh, wow. everybody. Be careful, yeah. don't burn yourself with a, the uh, the heater. The, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so be careful, guys. Okay. All right, we ready? And you have to plug the things in. Don't forget, these are the, these are the and here's well, the Just outlets, plug them okay? in. Why do they have to they just... Well, that because that kind of gets I'll, it going. I'll plug no, them no, in. No, 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 no. That, no, 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 okay. no, no. I mean, it it's just not, seems like a waste. No, it's, yeah, it's all right. Part of the game, you know, part of the, Okay, you ready? And my blow the it's whistle. Like a, it's like a ceremonial first pitch. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is yeah. really bad. Okay, we ready? And <laughs> not like the car. All right, here we go. Plug him in, plug him in, plug him in, plug him in. All right, we gotta plug you. All right. Okay, we're Don't rocking and yourselves. rolling. Uh oh. Uh oh. And and we got one here going with the Jimmy Pop and the pop thing. Okay, pour it in there. All right. And put some more in there. And 
we've got the Fantastic Four over here doing fantastically. Okay, and the winner of this is the overall winner. It's the uh, Ant-Man or the Four Heads or the Ant-Heads. Oh, boy, that's taking forever, isn't it? Is that little light on down there? It is, okay. Wow, wow. Well, for an ice cream person, you're doing real good with that uh, popcorn. Yeah. Don't burn yourself, be careful. That's it, rip it open there, slick, get that puppy in there. Oh, yeah, slam her up, all right. Well, how are we doing over here? You wanna put some in there? And maybe if you get both these things going, and, and then you can, you know, okay. We're doing great, it's exciting, huh? This yeah, is I'm just really, worried that they're gonna burn themselves. No, the, okay, don't burn yourself. But you need a glove on that, or you, you, you yeah, maybe she needs a glove because her hand's getting a little hot here. Yeah, there you go. Look at that, Ant, Ant team gave a glove to that's forehead too many. team. That's that sportsmanship. That's too many. It's good to see you can some only put in one scoop here. at a time. All right, let's yeah. get, I don't hear any popcorn, I don't hear any pop in here. Is it on? I don't, everything plugged in here? Yeah, We're all plugged in here. Yeah, I would okay. tell, because if, if it's, it's, it's too it's many. Really yeah, because it'll, it, because it feels. spins around. Is it plugged yeah. in? Is there going? Wow. Yeah, see, okay, there's I hear some popcorn. I hear some popcorn. I would tap it all out. By the way, by the way, Greg, nobody wants to see people popping popcorn. All right, we're about there. It's uh, this is good. See, those ones are burning. This is good. Should be okay. Is any popcorn coming out of there? For goodness' sake. Well, they, that, yeah. some of it got burned. But okay. It's okay now. Put that lid on. Oh, we got hey, we got popcorn over here. Hey, Mark. Look at this. Mark. Look at this. You should come and see this. All right, that's real. That's the real deal there. Yeah, and how's that microwave doing? This is really good. Yeah. This is really fun. It's exciting, isn't it, Mark? It's it is. exciting. Yeah. Don't stop it. You don't want yeah. to lose time. All right. Yeah. Okay. It's not exciting. People don't care. It's what, hey, we're, we're almost there. Up. We're almost there, Tim. You know, uh, the whole audience is we're losing audience people here. It's, it's, it's the slow. It's the worst bit. It's better than Dakar. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, that's, you don't have going. this plugged yeah, in over here. You, uh, okay. Alright. Yeah, Don't burn in. yourselves. It's hot. It takes a while. It's 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 got to warm up and then they pop. That's how popcorn works. You get too many in there. Okay. okay. One more minute, we're dying. No, we got to keep this going. Alright. Yeah. Oh, look at this! Whoa! It's I like, popcorn time, huh? Wow. I like these because yeah. they're uh, old timey. Yeah. Like uh, Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised these are not these are not popping yet. That's crazy. What's wrong with well, that? You gotta is be it patient. Down? I mean, it's it's it in for there. Popcorn too. Power. Uh oh. Whoa. Whoa. Power. Power. We get some power here. Popcorn thing went out. Okay. Whoa. Do you have any popcorn at all over there? None. Oh, jeez. This is starting to pop. Boy, this is, uh, this, this one's really, uh, oh, look at here. All right, hey, old style popcorn is coming through here. Oh, all right, we're back on, all right. Yeah, okay, and you got, you got it in the microwave? Is it, it's not on? It's not, it's not working at all? Microwave done on. Let me see. Yeah. 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 There it is. Let's cook it out. You should open another one again. Yeah. Yeah. That's one started. Okay. Yeah. Let that one cool down. Well, don't burn yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Is that hot at all? Maybe you're shaking. Maybe you should go this way. Maybe you don't even have it on. No, oh, lost power to that. I, I think that other team would plugged you over there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're getting we're getting close I don't wanna, here. Hey, Mark, I don't want to yeah. eat any of this because that gives them a disadvantage. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. Don't eat it. Normally, it's good. Don't, don't eat it. it. Like, yeah. Wow. Look at that. Okay. This is this is like oh, uh, all right. Hey. This, this is, is like great. Jane right. Mansfield. Yeah. Jane yeah. Man. Jane Mansfield. Oh, it went off here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, yeah, I think we, uh, 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 we maybe lost the power here, maybe? 
Hey, Tim, come on. Hey, I think we he's all... Tr he's trying to steal my weapon. I'm not trying to steal his weapon. Get us going. We're getting our climax here. and No, no. Well, yeah. Okay, we're working on the... We're working on the power here. It's really close. It's really close. I think in the next minute or so, we're going to be the hottest. You ought to get a special prize for that. You know, that's cow. Yeah. yeah. You did good. You did good. <laughs> yeah, we're doing all right. right. How long you folks been married here? Oh, okay, so far so good. Oh, we're back. Oh, we're back. Okay. All right. Okay, the game is back. Okay. Keep popping. You microwave with him? Is this not going at all? Is that, is that, oh, now this one's off. We get some uh, 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 something here. First, uh, for, uh, first Oscar for James Bond tonight. Best original song, Writings on the Wall, James Bond. Writings on the Wall, James Bond. Original song. Okay. All right. How are we doing here? I, I, are we, is there a thing here maybe that you turn and... Thank you, everybody. No. Thanks, guys. I'm going to step in here, turn everything off. Turn that off. Okay. Okay? Right. Unplug that. Okay. Thank you, guys, and we've got a winner. Well, we've I got think, a winner. Let's we don't. them up there and see what kind of popcorn it's only, we got. It's still on the first bag. Yeah, we haven't even well. gotten to the, it's still we the got first here? bag. Well, we're not going to spend four hours. It's going to take four hours to get through this. So let's declare a winner. Who do you want to win? Let's see here. Joe, let, who's let, the winner? Let, let me see here. Let me see what yeah. they got Turn here. That off. Yeah. Uh, Turn it off. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it off. It hits! Yay! Winners! Very good. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh. Winners! I don't think so. Hey. Yeah. Uh, well, it wasn't in the bag. See. All right, the no, time has come. Everybody oh, clear no, out. No, everybody geez. clear out. Okay. Congratulations. Wow. Congratulations, everybody. Yeah. Clear out. Yeah. Clear out. Hey. Clear out. Good no, work. don't. Joe, I asked you. I'm not going to say it Good again. Work. Good work. S get back to your corner. OK. OK. You guys, congratulations right. to yeah. you. Thank you thank guys you. did a great right. job. Great to see you. Great work. Clear out. You guys leave now. <laughs> the time has come. What's who won? Who won the Oscar? Anybody? James know? Bond just James took Bond? home an Oscar. <laughs> All right, rip off. Uh, it is my honor and my pleasure to introduce what we've all been waiting Johnny for. Depp. Johnny Depp has not arrived. Um, I want to introduce. Let's bring Mark and Joe over here for this because this is kind of big. <laughs> Thank you, Joe, for, for Thank doing it. Thank you. That. Great fun. Great, great fun. It's a good guys. segment. Right. Yeah. Um, it was a good segment. Now is the time. And I understand there was some bullshit that happened at the Oscars with uh, slippery Joe Biden making a pledge. And I would like to make a pledge of my own, and we do this together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to, to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, liberty and, and justice, justice for, all. for all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that's a message for you, Joe, if you're watching this. It's a message to uh, everybody here that dares to question my patriotism. And I don't think there's any question about it. Thank you, everybody. And I want to say, you've waited a long time for this. I'm going to do it over here. I'm going to uh, follow me over what here. What is it? Uh, because no. we worked so hard for this. I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you have worked so hard. I have worked so hard. This boy has worked so hard. And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Empty Bottle, we heard the empty bottle. music video world premiere. Wow. Now you take Fox. it to the next, let's take it to the bank. This is the video that's gonna win the, all the awards at the music video festival next year. We already, you already played Empty Bottle.
left in my mind Checking out life on the dark side Riding down the road till the end of time Good and light Hanging around Waiting for something To pick me up Or hang me dry Fill me up Again Fill me up Again Thanks, guys. Thanks for all the positive comments on the video. Empty Bottle is going to be number one. And uh, that video was pretty intense. We spent a couple weeks working on that. Got, a, got the whole band. You know, it's just actually Manuel, unfortunately, unable to be a part of that scene. But he'll be in the next one. Let's just tell you guys we are rounding things down a little bit, having a great time. Congratulations to the Ant, to the uh, Fantastic Four kids for coming down. Guys, we're uh, going to take a quick break. But when we come back, we, are, we got so much to do. We got... The end, uh, the, well, of course, we're going to reveal the James Dean results, the DNA results. And, but uh, when we come back, and this, you really got to stick around because he's very excited about it. And, and I guess he's getting everything ready now. I don't know where he even is. Greg Turkington's big surprise is coming up. I have no idea what it is. I've been completely in the dark. We are going to take a quick break, and we are going to find out what Greg Turkington's been up to. And there's a big red curtain here. Who knows what's behind it? going to be insane. It's going to be great. Then we'll find out the real deal with uh, Mr. So-called James Dean. Be right back. Stick with us. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we're rounding, thing, uh, rounding things up. Let's give a big hand for Dakar for coming out. We got so much goddamn popcorn here. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Give it to the homeless. I'll take it home. Like I said. Um, yeah, so we got your big surprise. Let's this start is that. pretty exciting. Yeah, give um, us a little feedback on that. Kind of makes up for some of the stuff that we've all had to 
endure during the course of the special, because this is actually a true surprise for movie buffs. Uh -huh. um, if you're a movie head or a movie buff, or if you know motion picture history, I think this is gonna mean something to you. This was done with great expense. I'd like to thank Chaplin's Soup and Subs for hey, financing let's this. Over here. Come here, come here, come here. Thank you so much for giving me free reign to yeah, make here. this work. How, many people, how can people get to the store? I mean, you... uh, there's one uh, that just opened up in Pasadena. We there you go. Last week. Oh, and, there you go. Uh, Subs. And you got some new ones on the horizon? Uh, yeah, there's one opening up in, uh, that has opened up a, a couple of months ago in Eagle Rock. How do you mm -hmm. like that? Uh, California, it's great. Joe, well, what is what, yeah. right, food? Five to, uh, or ten, one to ten? Uh, that's a turn last. That's a nine and a half right now. Really? Thank you. Okay. Good yeah. stuff. Good stuff. How was that chowder? Uh, tastes a lot like chili. There you go. Yeah. Oh. That could be the it's, same recipe. Who knows? What about that? It's a, it's a little different. It's a, it's a chowder. It's a bean-based chowder. Okay. And the other one we have is uh, tomato. All right. All right. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for making oh, this possible because this was not cheap to do, and we had rehearsals. These guys covered the salaries during the right. rehearsals and to yeah. get the salary The wait stage. is over. By the way, congratulations to Inga, uh, Alberto and Alberto Arnard. Arna uh, the, re uh, the relevant director made big, uh, directed the Oscar, uh, directed Best Picture tonight of Relevant. So congratulations to that boy. Good, good, good on him. All right. So <clears throat> here we go, Greg. Without further ado. Are you going to walk uh, over there? Yeah, I'm going to walk over there. I'm just announcing and then I'm going to walk over. Let's Without do it. Without How much uh, is this going to take longer than that popcorn segment? Thank you, by the way, for the popcorn. Without any further ado, yes, please. May we present our fourth annual on cinema Oscar special grand finale. Hey, -o. Hollywood, California. Yeah. Home of legends. Mark. So many legendary actors and performers have been in movies made right here in Hollywood, California. Today we're gonna to pay tribute to these actors and honor their contributions to our favorite art, movies. We hope you enjoy this. It's taken a lot of work uh, to make this happen. Give Unprecedented. A to, give a shout uh, out to Dakar. And it's also for art lovers. If you've ever been to a museum or gallery, you may appreciate also what we are presenting here tonight for the very first time. So. Everyone at home. I have no uh, idea what this is going to be, up, by the way. Pull up your popcorn and get ready for my tribute to old Hollywood. <laughs> Very cool. Let's hope it's not Oscar spelled wrong. Good luck. Okay. Just. And then we're going to find out the DNA test results of James Dean, the fraud. Go ahead. Okay, are you mm. done? Go ahead. You're done? I'm done. I don't want you talking over this. No, I won't say a word. Good luck. A oh. tribute to old Hollywood. this for these ladies people. and gentlemen may i present the legends themselves mr james dean marilyn monroe humphrey bogart and elvis presley as seen in the world's most all-time favorite and famous painting legal action by chris consani this is the original painting we have created today a living painting a living and breathing painting enjoy What's the point of that? What's the point of this? Just in just shh. Why don't you just show the painting? We'll let people watch the painting. Are these the real, what are those, the real people? How do you, I don't get why you wouldn't just show the, the painting. Why is it, 
I'm sorry. Is this your thing? Is this your whole thing? This is it? What's the I mean, Greg, I'm sorry. Is this, is the painting, you got the painting in the background of this. Is the painting Shh, just in the, no, I'm just, asking you, is the just painting Just watch in, the living painting and just be quiet. Is the painting in the painting? Like, is it, is you, you Well, for display purposes, it is, yeah. Well, but if you look at the backgrounds, every background is identical to in the original painting. Every one of our cast I don't mean to, are sorry. identical to the original actors. But every detail, is, every single detail. <laughs> so what? No, I'm asking. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude. I mean, well, you're being real rude. It sounds like a. I don't get. Okay. Just uh, enjoy it. What am I supposed to enjoy? I feel bad for those people. That's about it. Just. Man, what's the blonde? What's your name, ma'am? The blonde. It's Marilyn Monroe. You can talk. It's all right. It's my show. No, just, just. Don't talk. Okay. Just let the camera pan over. The world's first living painting. Oh man. Okay. Well, Thank you, Mark. I, I'm a fan. I like what's going on. I think Greg did a. I think it would be cool. Hold on. I think it would be cool if the, you made them do that for like a 12 hours or something. You know hold that pose. Well, we did a lot of rehearsals and when we did the first rehearsal. Why, what did you rehearse? It seems like it would take you about painting. five minutes to well, look at the, the rehearsal. Look at the how the, it's exact poses from the original painting. So? Everything is exact. The balls on the table are in the exact position as in the painting. Look at the balls. Okay. It look at like in the a, painting. Boy, I'm sorry everybody. Can we get a camera one? It's uncanny. I'm sorry about this gang. You know, uh, We've had a rough night, Mark. Why don't you tell me your impressions of this? Mark likes it. Uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, gang. I I really like it. I'm a fan what of old. What is there to Holly like? I'm I, sorry, but Joe. What do you think? I, it's uncanny. I tell you, 3D art, man. It's very original. I, I kind of like it. It's beyond 3D. Not everything. I'll be honest. Not everything is the car. You know, some. Thank you, thank you. Some of this you is let's get a, old let's Hollywood, get a, or you have some awful band that nobody likes. All right, well, that's not necessary. Let's get a Twitter poll going right now. Is this a complete disaster of an Oscar special? Is this a complete letdown, or uh, something else? I don't know what you'd call it. I don't. I, I feel bad for the people there. You guys can move around if you no, want. No, no, no. No, it's it's cruel. And it's like don't a torture listen to thing. him. So I don't it's not it torture. It. If you have them move around, it kind of ruins the whole. Let's thing. look at some of the details that okay, we got. Okay, go right. ahead. You you show us some of the details. This is this table here. You see this bald eagle. I feel bad. Take a look here in the original painting. Yeah, so what? You got the painting. You had plenty of time Pansani. to paint it. I don't get what the exact deal is. same bald eagle. First of all, you got to move the painting. Look out at of this the certificate. Way. I know, no, no, you, don't move you the painting. You got to move the painting out of the way because then it doesn't look like the thing. <laughs> oh. well, Just pop, put the painting in front. That's brutal. All right, all right. Can we move on from this? I apologize. You guys just stay put. And just let's just enjoy it. What are we to, to enjoy? What are we to enjoy with this? I'm asking you. Because it sucks. All right. Thank you. I apologize stay, once again. Everyone it's the stay last there. We'll come back to segment. we'll come back to our living okay. painting. You which guys, incidentally is the first time this has ever been done. So oh, is it? for you to shit all over it ah. when, uh, when you shout over the entire ceremony by bringing in yeah, first irrelevant of all, get that music. Away from me. I don't know, how about, hey, I got an idea. Why don't, Jay, why don't Marlon Brando come by and hang out with these people here? Hey, hey, look who stopped by to play pool. Can I, Mr. Bogart, can I uh, have some, can I sit down and play, don't. Oh, look at now, see how easy to fuck up that. All right, listen. This hey. isn't living, uh -huh. this is cardboard. It's very What's different. What's the difference? What's it's the completely difference? completely different. Okay. Who knows? Yeah. Who knows? I feel bad. I feel bad that uh, I feel bad for you that you make yourself look like a hick. who can't appreciate art. Well, let's give a round of applause to those actors there. Sorry you had to go through all that. I feel like we should go up there and try to tickle one of them, see if they break like we're at London 
the, let's just get the, the results of the DNA. Okay, okay, let's bring out my friend and my uh, guru, Dr. San. Dr. San, can you come out here? Come on, dog. Give us the real deal. You guys can chill. No, no, don't listen to him. That's poor Marilyn Monroe's gonna, uh, I'm gonna have, uh, he needs to breathe at least. He can breathe, Marilyn. I've, I'm gonna be fucking uh, apologizing for this all year. How many people have seen this painting before? Tweet at me if you have. No one I'll wants to I'll start a poll. That. All right, Doc, let me see. What do you got? So, ladies and gentlemen, Huh? We need a drum roll. Well, let's do the whistle. By the way, folks, the big Leo DiCaprio one for the relevant. Thank you, uh, Leo, for acting as good as you do. You're the, one of the greats. You are the master. And we're probably hanging out with him tonight at the Rainbow Room. Where's Johnny right. Depp? You never met Johnny Depp. Where the hell? I... Yeah, I didn't meet Johnny Depp. OK. Axiom. Clear it up. Come here. Johnny Depp wouldn't be impressed with the car, I guarantee you. I'm gonna ask you this, and we put him on a lie detector on this. That we hang out at the Vi at the Viper at the uh, Rainbow. Rainbow Room. Who walked in? Johnny Depp. Mr. Bad Boy Johnny Depp. What did he say? He was about to come here. He said, I'm coming down to the um, Oscar opportunity. Uh, Oscar well, special. He's not here. So. He's not here, so what? Whatever. I get lied to every day. That's this town, get used to it. Here's my advice for you four. This is a bad, bad choice on your part to agree to do this. I hope you're getting paid a lot of money by somebody. Here we go. Let's hear the results. Dr. San, let's bring out, oh, come on out here. James Dean. James Mr. Dean. whoever you are. James Dean. James Dean, sure. Okay, okay. come here. Yeah. Now you let's go. go over this again. If you, you ever go, been Jimmy. watching. Good to see you, Mr. Dean. Okay, you go, keep, keep your distance. Thank you very much. Oh. Keep your distance. Because no. I don't want to have to use this. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to get the new unknown people, okay, people like you. All right. right. You. You've, said, you've <laughs> said enough already. I'm now. sorry, Mr. Dean, you had to listen to his music. Uh, what did you think of the music? Well, I, you know, I kind of like... You liked it. All right. Well, no, so no, let's, no, 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 no. I, I got it. So here we go. This is where you put your money. This is the, how many people think that this is the real deal? We're going to find out right now. Doctor, we trust you. Do I trust anybody more than you? No. No, he doesn't because he is the man. He's Dr. San. Dr. San is the man. You've got me through everything I've ever been, all the bad, all the good. We've gone through a lot. We've gone through a lot. Yeah. Everybody knows. This is, this is, we should have drum roll for this. Thank you, guys. Open her up. Let's do it. Am I doing it? Yeah, why don't you do it? OK. I think you're going to be happy. Oh, we're going to hold for the drum roll? Let me know, because I can do this right now. And the winner is yeah. going to be me, not you. You're the loser. Oh, we'll see no, about well, that. <laughs> you're going to be sorry you said that when you see the results. Really? No. This is, uh, double check this. Triple. Yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. yes! Mr. D! Mr. D! I lied to you. This wasn't my finale at all. Okay. Okay. Would you guys like to see my real finale, the real Oscar finale? Yeah. Yeah. Come with me, Mr. Dean. Okay. Let's now restore James Dean to his true Hollywood glory. Take your place at the pool table. I'm sorry, you'll have to hand over the, the, the uh, you're done here. Go away. This is the real James Dean. Thank you for your work. We appreciate it. Let me have the pool cue. Here. You just go have some chili. All right. Now we have true Hollywood royalty reunited at last. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you legal action. Get, get out of the picture. Yeah, this guy's got to go. Yeah, he's not. We don't need that kind of.
Yeah, you're still getting paid, but you can just get some soup. So. Hey, let's. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the legends of old Hollywood: James Dean, Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, and Elvis Presley, featuring the real confirmed James Dean. <laughs> That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's really neat. Cool. You know, yeah, some people really cool. say that I uh, Well, I want to thank everybody. I'm a little, I don't know what's going on. I, I, Mark, what do you, what do you got? The best I, picture was Spotlight. So I just don't, I, I don't I wanna... think the best picture tonight is in front of you right now, ladies and gentlemen. All right. A tribute to old Hollywood. All right. I don't know, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to triple, uh, we're gonna have to triple check we have to triple check this. I don't, I'm not sure what's going Matt on, is but your doctor. Uh, I don't. I don't know about the, this. Is match. Doctor Sands got a lot of talk, a lot of answering. I got to talk to you about some stuff. So listen. Um, congratulations to you guys for being a part of the Oscar special. Oh, you, don't miss my new film coming out. Oh, right? don't talk about that, please. Don't say anything. Oh, okay. Keep my mouth shut. Huh? <laughs> I I, just because you're James Dean doesn't mean I'm going to beat your ass. Oh, wait. Okay. Wait. I don't care. I'm not. I'm not one of those guys that has also. Oh, you put. The, you're gonna take that pool cue to me? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah. You know, I don't care that he's James Dean. Who cares about should. James Dean? Now, you I got don't care to say? that you're a. I have nothing. No. Jackass. No. Huh? No. It's all good. All good, Tim. I was gonna shoot a film in your place here. Yeah. Huh? Remember the breathing? You the one that got me in this mess. I want to thank my son, Tom Cruise Jr., who's the only guest I gave a shit about tonight. And I'm out of here. Good night. This sucks. Oh, good. Now we can all have a party. <laughs> yeah, Mr. D. Salute to old Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. The Marx Brothers. I did all my work over in Europe. I did all the pictures I made over in Europe. Yeah. So. <laughs> you don't want to see a Romanian picture. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm back here again. Yeah. Welcome back, Mr. Dean. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Chaplain Chili. I'm sorry, Chaplain Chili. I'll do my best from now on. Salute to all of our actors tonight. I'm pretty You think this is a fucking joke? You come in here, you think this is a fucking joke? Get the fuck out of here! You get out! I'm done with you! I'm done with you! Nobody's let me down more than you! Nobody! Nobody! Oh, I thought I let him down a lot. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. Get out, get out, walk out, walk out. I should have done this a long time ago. Seen this before, you know? Mashing things up, then going home. <laughs> hey. Good night, guys. I'm going to give this back. I, I don't want it. Hey. <laughs>